Shalom. 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 We are the real Hebrew Israelites. We come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America and to wake up the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, like also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nations, like that lineage go back to the 12 tribes according to their fathers, you know. Uh, before we, we get started, we want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory unto Yahweh. We want to give double honors to our apostles and elders at Great Millstone with Ruwa. We want to give up peace, greetings, and salutations to all the elect Akim that's pushed his word in our truth and sincerity, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth, you know, and the brothers that's making their bodies a living sacrifice for Yahweh Shem Shah. We say Shalom, and we just going to roll through the spirit, and Lord, when it's edifying to the elect. All right, Shalom. You know, we coming out here another week through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Shah, prophesying the downfall of America, which is known as Babylon, you know, and we just want to, um, you know, pray that this lesson is edifying to the sincere brothers and sisters. That's right. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 10, and verse 34. It says, Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. All right, this is written in red letter. All right, we have people here can call Jesus Christ. All right, his real name is Yahweh Shah in, um, in the ancient Hebrew. All right, he said, He think not to come. He said, uh, Think not that I'm come to send peace on earth. All right, you know, and, and, and we see that. You know, is um, the racial tension is, is brewing up. Right. All right, we got um, the the, um, the um, coronavirus. All right, nation rise against nation. You hear wars and rumors of wars. Yeah. All right, the signs and the times. All right, and you know it's only going to get worse from this point on out. That's right. right. Amos chapter five, verse eighteen. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. All right, it says woe. All right, woe means destruction. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. All right. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. All right. So, so you know, um, why are you people are desiring the day of the Lord? All right. Speaking first and foremost to you Christians. All right. You Christians think that the day of the Lord, you know, He's going to come and gather everybody. You know, um, as long as you call on the name that you say, all right, you saved from what? All right. Because we still, we still in captivity. All right, you still have to wake up and, and serve your oppressors. Right. All right, you still have to wake up and um and, and, and slave for Esau. You know, so the, the, the day of the Lord is going to be darkness and not light. Right. All right, literally, literally dark. You know, it's uh, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be complete chaos in the streets. You know, it's, uh, you know, people are people are going to be starving from famine. You know, you're going to be seeing um parents eat, eat their own children. Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8 it says behold we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us for a reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments alright he said this this day yet we are in our captivity alright so it don't matter if you living in New York it don't matter, it don't matter if you living in Florida uh, California, Chicago alright it don't matter if you scatter um, across um, India or, or, or China alright we are still serving our oppressors Says, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers which departed from the Lord our power. You see, we are subject to payments. All right, you, you, every week you got to pay a, a, a bill, right? Whether it's your rent, whether it's your car payment, your car insurance, your, your phone bill, you know, you're paying child support. We are subject unto these payments, all right? And, and the Lord is the only is the only way, um, the Lord is the only uh, solution, all right? You know, brothers, uh, you know, people are trying to, uh, uh, March, Black Lives Matter. You know, n n none of these, um, none of these other, uh, uh, yeah, other philosophies. these philosophies, these uh, uh, fucking trends that that Esau pushed upon our people. That shit's not gonna work, man. No, you, you have to, you have to lean on the Lord. That's right. All right, seek the Lord, and, and, and you shall live. That's right. Verse nineteen, Amos five and nineteen. As if a man did flee from a lion, and a bear met him. Or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? All right. So you're gonna be, you're gonna be, you, you're gonna be. Uh, it's gonna be. Uh, you know, you're gonna be. You, you might be running from running from a gang of of, of Edomite. All right. You get away from that, and then next thing you know, uh, a, a fucking pit bull will come and, and, and start tearing your ass up. You know, so it's gonna be. You know, it's gonna be uh, different tribulation after tribulation after tribulation. Right. All right, but 
but the but the elect the elect is going to the scripture says that the elect shall scarcely be saved. Right. All right, so what more for, for these for 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 the, for the people that don't believe? And you know? and you know these elites, you know they they uh, they they get these underground bunkers. You know these these elites they they actually think that they can escape. You know the day of the Lord. You know there's no way to escape the day of the Lord. It doesn't matter where you are, where you're in the grave. You know you want to be high in the sky. You know, there's no way to to escape the day of the Lord. And um, to finish, finish off verse twenty it says, uh, I'm read it again. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark? Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15 it says for behold the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire so that's how our Lord Yahweh is coming back who the world even called Jesus Christ man he come back with fire along with a numeral amount of angels man all right that's going to destroy Esau and his whole army and all these the armies of these whole nations man all right because when the Lord established this righteous kingdom all right which is he gonna deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. He gonna set up a righteous kingdom, and in, in, in the strip say the world shall not learn war anymore, man. All right, that's how you know those people that's dwelling in Israel, those Amalekites, they're not the real people, man. Because there's still war going on, even in the Holy Land, man. So the Lord said He come back with fire, man. It says, for behold, the Lord will come with fire, and with His chariots like a whirlwind, to render His anger with fury, and His rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by His sword. Will the Lord plead with all flesh and the slain of the Lord shall, shall be many. many. So the slain of the Lord is going to be from one end of the earth until another, man. All right, these people, like the brothers going to the day of the Lord is going to, the day of the Lord is going to be darkness, man, and no light in it, man. These people, they're going to tremble. All right, they, they think like, the COVID-19 is, is uh, 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 something like, uh, that's, that's dangerous. Wait till you see the day of the Lord, man. Man, you, go. you talk about Amalek, too. You know, I've seen uh, that, I think it's Mark. That is his name. Uh, he played. He played on. Uh, nah, he played on knocked up. That movie knocked up. He was. He was saying that he, he was learning about all the lies. Uh, yeah. Seth Rogen. Yeah, Seth yeah, Rogen. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. But he was learning about because he. Uh, he. I believe he handled it. Uh, yeah, he handled it. And he said that. Um, that he, he, he was learning about all the lies that that, that he been taught. You know, so the truth is being sprung up. That's right. And, um, I got a preacher. Uh, this is Zephaniah chapter three verse eight. Therefore. Wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. You know, so we gotta we gotta wait on the Lord. That's right. You know, we can't go to gun ranges, you know, and uh, uh get all these guns, stock up on bullets, you know, like the NF NF uh, AC, you know, like, like like they uh like they bring a forth, man. All right, you know, they, they try to demonize the truth. That's right. All right, but the uh the, the Bible it, it doesn't say anything about that, man. All right, uh uh because to be carnal minded is enmity with the Most High. Right? All right, we gotta wait upon the Lord to uh, to rise up to, to the prayer. All right, we can't do it ourselves. All right, let me finish off verse eight. It says, "For my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms to pour upon them my indignation, right? Even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy." You know, the, the, the whole earth is going to be, you know, devoured, you know, by, by nuclear missiles. Man. That's right. All right. The Lord is going to plead with all flesh, you know, through, 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 uh, through fire, man. Mm -hmm. All right. You know, he's going to gather all these nations and, 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 uh, and, and assemble the kingdoms, man. All right. This is uh, Jude uh, verse 14. It says, And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints. That's right. You know, the brother was talking about the Lord coming uh, with the angels. You know, how much more the elect, man? All right, the Lord said he's coming with ten thousands of his saints, man. He's about to render great judgment upon these people, man. All right, and he's coming. Hey, when you uh, when you read Joel, it says a, a great, exceeding great army, man. All right, he's about to have an, the men that are serving the Lord and the angels, man. They're not coming to play no games. All right, and <laughs> all all of the time for 
games has been had, man. The Lord, hey, you know how when uh, even how brothers be, you know when we be in the zone, you your whole game, you, you put your game face on, man. When it's time to uh, going going to war, all right, you get the, the pep talk, and then brothers just riled up. Hey, that's how the end. Can you can? You, Verse 15, to execute judgment upon all to, and to convince all that, Salaki, let me start over. To execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds, which they have ungodly committed, man. <laughs> all right? These people are ungodly, man. And they commit, that means they put themselves forward to doing these actions, man. All right? And Yahweh Shemi Yahweh Shah, he said he's he getting rid of all of these ungodly people, man. Right. It says, and of all their hard speeches, which ungodly sinners have spoken against him, man. All right, but their hard speeches, they try to come out and say all, bring all of their rhetoric, bring their philosophies and their doctrines. All right, it said they spoken that against him. All right, because Yahweh Shai said, if they said unto you, which means they said it unto me, and if they said it unto me, they said it unto my father, man. Okay, so at the end of the day, that's why you, they don't understand how this, uh, how the operation works, man. All right, if you offend, hey, if you offending his children, you offending the heavenly Father Himself, man. So He's gonna render judgment for all of the things that these people have committed, man. Yo, man I got something. All right, this is Amos chapter nine and verse ten. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. All right, so uh, uh, all you um, Israelites, the so-called Black Hispanic Native Americans, all right, if you don't repent and return unto the Lord. All right, you know, seek the Lord in these last days. The Lord, the Lord is going to uh, utterly destroy you. All right, by famine, death. You know, by so like I said, famine. All right, the, by that thermonuclear missiles. Right. All right, these FEMA troops. All right, you getting caught up in those race in those race wars. All right, the Lord, the, the Lord says, um, you shall die by death by pain. That's right. All right. But I got something. I got something. Hey, you get started eight. I'm, I'm getting what what is uh you said. All the people shall die by sin. Or by uh, the, the sinners shall die in their sins. All right, this is the, what is sin. It's uh, 1 John chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. All right, what are people? They, 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 uh, they, they're homosexuals, all right, which is against the scriptures. All right, they're murderers, they're thieves. All right, all right they, they, they in all type of wickedness. They fall out the ways of Esau, and they don't repent from, from their wicked deeds. So they're going to die in their sins, man. All right, because of, because the Lord, he got prophets out to, to tell our people to come back to him so they may receive salvation. But we already know that two-thirds are blind, and the elect is the only one that's going to adhere to the word and come back to the Lord. You know? It's Amos 9 and 8. Behold, the eyes of the Lord, Yahweh, are upon the sinful kingdom. Yeah, the eyes of the Lord are the angels, man. All right, that's why you see more chariot sightings all, right, uh, all over the earth, man. Right, especially uh, here, bro. You see them, brothers seeing the chariots right, themselves, man. Because the Lord is seeing everything, all the wickedness right, that goes on in this place, man. Even in the dark, right, these people try to hide their sins. But the Lord, should say the Lord hides 10,000 times brighter than the sun, man. And I will destroy it off the face of the earth, yep. saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob, saith the Lord. So the Lord is going to destroy America from off the face of the earth, man. As you say, the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, man. I Russia, China, Iran, they already got those nuclear missiles. I the Lord just the Lord, he's just waiting, I to put the spirit on those kings, I to shoot those missiles off, man. The Lord said, uh, he, he's not going to utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Because the Lord he's going to uh, deliver a remnant I, from the from the nation of Israel. Lord, when we keep doing the work, we're going to be deliver from this destruction. Yeah. That was it. Bro. I got something real quick. All right, this is uh, Romans 6 and 20. For when ye were servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. See, when we were when we were in the world, we were free from righteousness, man. And these people ain't thinking about righteousness, all right, because they servants of sin, man. All right, but we're trying to be servants of the Heavenly Father. We're trying to be servants of righteousness, man. All right, so now we're trying to be free from sin. All right, you see how that works? It says... Uh, the point is in 23, but it says, What fruit had ye in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? So what was it profiting us to be full of sin, to be servants of sin? Now we ashamed of those things, man. Right. You look at your, you, I, man, I see a picture. That, like, I can still got pictures in my phone from when I was in the world, man. Sometimes you be looking for an old pic, and then you see them old-ass pictures where you had lineups and shit, man. You be like, man, I, I low-key need to delete them bitches, man. You know, because you see that, man. You you going off. Your, your mind, our minds were astray, man. Right. Okay? It says, um, for the end of those things is death, but now being made free from sin and become servants to the Most High Yahweh, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. 
For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of the Most High is eternal life through Yahweh Mashiach, our Lord, man. All right, so the, the brothers were speaking about sin, man. Hey, we we know that sin is the transgression of the law, okay? So now the wage of sin is death, and that's what these people are reaping. You know, we titled their video, Through the Spirit, Destruction and Salvation. All right, these people are, are seeking destruction, all right? Because if, you don't, if you're not seeking Yahweh Mashiach, ultimately awesome you're seeking destruction, man. The wages of sin is death. So basically, a wage is a payment. Okay, so when you 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 paying you purchasing sin, all right? You and what we're he said the Lord said we are bought with a price, man. All right, he he laid down his life for us, man. All right, so that's why we're doing as much. That's why you got to come out to the highways and byways. That's why you got to do your videos because we're doing our best to spiritually pay the Lord back, man, as much as we can. We can't never uh, hit that ceiling, man. Ain't no, ain't no matter how much it says we can never go far enough, man. No matter how much you do. We can't pay the Lord back, but we can try our damnedest, man. Salaki, probably not the best word. We can try our best. That's right. All right? I got some. This is um, Job chapter 36 and verse 11. If they obey and serve them, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. All right? If you obey Yahweh Shemel Shai, he says that they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure. Verse 12. But if they obey not, they shall perish by the sword. And they shall die without knowledge. All right, and, and that's why this, that's right. like the brother said, wages of sin is death. All right, so if you uh, get in line up, you know, if you shaving your head bald, if you eating pork, crab, shrimp, lobster, catfish, you know, celebrating your birthday, all those are against are against the Bible. You know, and and, and that's why we are on the highway to Bible. All right, to, to to let you people know, and also to get the blood off our hands. That's right. You know? I got some. This is the Book of Psalms, chapter one nineteen, and verse nine. It says, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word. So that's how you cleanse your way, man. That's how you become renewed in the spirit, man, by, 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 by this word, man. I become, become uh, washed and cleansed by the word. And now you know how to walk in this truth, man. Now you know how to put out the old man. I and seek the Lord in truth and sincerity. Because, hey, if, if, you, if you're not... Uh, your sins are not covered, and hey, you're gonna be you're gonna be you're gonna be uh, put to death out here, man. Whether like the brothers going through famine, pestilence, all type of uh, calamities that the Lord is bringing, man. So we cleanse our way by taking heed, man, and continually I uh, uh, examine ourselves whether we be in the faith, man. Like the scripture say. And when that day comes, you know you're not gonna have no cloak for your sins, right. you know, because the prophet's been warning you people. I started with Apostle Tahar, you know, for thirty plus years. All right, so everybody's going to hear this word. Everybody's going to hear. One way, shape, or form about the Hebrew Israelite. No? So, this is Ephesians chapter 4, verse 17. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth, henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from their life. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk right. in the vanity of their mind. All right, so we can't, you know, we can't be like like two thirds out here, man. All right, we can't be envious, you know, of, of, of what two thirds they got, you know, these other nations, man. All right, you know, because uh, this, this is what we're talking about two thirds. It says, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. Because of the blindness of their heart, yep. you know, you know, they're uh, two thirds of our people. Their understanding is darkened by by how by shot. That's right. You know, we was once in that state as well. You know, uh, you know, shaving our shaving our beards. You know, getting lineups. You know, doing all the wickedness that that Babylon promotes. You know, but we gotta be uh, in the spirit of the Lord. You know, especially in these last days. That's right. You know, because we, uh, we was once alienated, man. All right, we was, we was once strangers to this. All right, once we heard this this truth. All right, you know, it, it, it clicked for us because, you know, because our spirit bears witness. All right, but um, but we uh, we went away. But so that's ultimately why we uh, why we can understand. All right, because this is part of our heritage. Right here, you know. This book of Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service, how you make your body a living sacrifice, all right? By coming out here and teaching the word, man. 
all right, by, by a trip say holy, acceptable, holy meaning separate. All right, we're not supposed to follow out the ways of the heathens. All right, that's the whole point that we over here in fucking in captivity because we went after the idols of the other nations, man, which, which, which was the snare unto us, man. Verse two, it says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. So you're not supposed to be with the form in this world, man. Scripture say, flee the, flee, flee the shadow of this world. All right, that's a uh, second edges two. I'm, yeah, second edges two. And the Lord, and be not conformed to this world, man, because this shit is death and life. Look, I mean, death and uh, destruction. The Lord said, uh, uh, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, man. Look at this shit, bro. You just, all this, all these stores are closed, man. All right, nothing, this this place is full of vanities and lies, man. They had our women, our sons, our daughters, like, hanging on trees, burning them. All right, the Lord about to destroy this place, man. All right, this is John chapter 15 and verse 19. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. All right, and that's how we know that that, that, that we are um, coming in the same spirit of, of Yahweh Hashanah Shah. Because, you know, um, this world hates us. All right, they, they hate that that um that we are speaking against this world. They hate that, that we speak in righteousness. All right, but if we was over here, you know, um, Talking about Drake, you know, rapping, singing, everybody would be over here, you know. But, but you know, like the brother said, everybody want to hear those smooth words, all right. But uh, verse twenty, remember the word that I that I said unto you: the servant is not greater than his lord. All right. So the Lord, he got persecuted. All right. So what more his servants? All right. What more us? All right. And it says, if they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings. They will keep yours also. All right, so we, we get ready to to be persecuted. We, we get right. ready to to go through the through similar things as Yah as Yahweh Shah went through. That's right, brother. You know, and, but you know, and there's there's a greater reward at the end. Yeah. All right, so what? And we have to lose our life on this side. This world, this world don't offer don't offer us nothing. You no, know? yeah, we looking to be saved out of here, man. The Lord say, uh, He that keep the word of His patience gonna keep them in that hour of temptation man but some brothers is gonna have to be martyrs have to get their head up have to be beheaded for this truth but what they're gonna be first in the chariots with our lord yahweh shah as the scriptures say man uh i, I got two i wanted to get that second Ezra that you okay. mentioned uh first this is uh second Ezra two i'm gonna start at 34 mm -hmm. it says and therefore i say unto you O ye heathen that hear and understand look for your shepherd he shall give you everlasting rest for he is nigh at hand that shall come in the end of the world. And so this is how you know that we were also going off. All right. He called the nation of Israel heathen. Okay. But he's saying that we, we got to get out of that mindset. All right. We got to come back to him so we can get that everlasting rest, man. All right. It says, uh, be ready to the reward of the kingdom for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. That's right. Flee the shadow of this world. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly. Yep, and that's what we do, man. We testify our Savior, Yahweh Bashim Shah, openly, man. Because that's the only one that's going to keep us all right, when all these hell, when all hell continue to uh, break loose in this place, man. All right? We flee the shadow of this world because why? We're looking for the kingdom of heaven, man. All right? We're wearing well, it's righteousness, man. Well, you ain't, well, where you ain't got to... Uh, uh, you ain't got to wake up and work fucking for pennies, all right? You buy certain things and you lose it, all right? You don't got, you never have enough money in this society. That's that right? bag with holes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yep, that's that bag with holes. You know, it said you, you so much, but you reap little, yep. you know? Uh, we, 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 we hungry, but we're, we're, we're uh, but we're not fed, right. you know? We thirst, but we not drinking. Right. Hey, man, this is, this is hell. Yeah, but I wanted to get this. This is uh, Colossians 2 and 13. It says, and you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, have he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. You know, and that word quicken means to make alive. He said he made us alive now through his word, man. All right, so that we may be forgiven of our trespasses, man. All right, when you go into like a, you see like a random lot and you see that big ass red sign outside that said no trespassing, it means you're not allowed to go forth. Okay, but the Lord said he's going to forgive our trespasses. That means that we went to where we weren't supposed to go. We served idol gods. We did things that we weren't supposed to do. But the Lord said, you know what? He ain't going to come out with a shotgun and blast your ass for trespassing. He's going to forgive you for it. Right. But two-thirds of our people, they're going to get that shotgun to the face, man. Right. Scripture said he's going to throw our, our sins in the depths of the sea. That's right, brother. Oh, uh, I believe one more. He says, uh, 
verse 14, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us and took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross, man. So that's what we did. When all of our sins, Yahweh Shah said he died for the nation, of, the elect of the sins of Israel, man. He died for all Israel ultimately, but the elect first and foremost, man, because we're the only, Lord willing, we're those men. We're the only ones going to receive it and be willing to say, Lord, we did wrong. Here, take our sins and, and put them up there, man. You know, he nailed them sins to the cross so that they can perish, they can perish away, man. All right, he says, blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us because at the end of the day, we keep the law to the best of our ability, but in this flesh, that was the hand right now was against us, man. We weren't going to win that battle, all right? We weren't going to win that battle in this flesh. So the Lord got to block that out, man, all right? So we, we're now praying that our names are written in heaven, but it's a lot of people their names going to be blotted out, man, that's right. all right? And so that's what we want our sins to do, be blotted out, man, so the Lord have mercy on us, man. That's right. What y'all brothers got it? I got it. I got it. I got one. It's uh, Psalm chapter 32, verse 1. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven. Whose sin is covered? And who is that? That's gonna be the, that's gonna be the elect, right? Of the nation of Israel, we pray we are part of that number, man. It says, verse two: Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputed not iniquity, in whose spirit there is no guile. Like brother wanted to, yeah. We, we may go off in the, in the flesh, but in the spirit, I we we pure, I we because we, we believe on Yahweh by Shemar Shai, man. I we rehearse the righteous acts. Two-thirds of people—they're not rehearsing the righteous act. They, they don't want to keep the uh, Passover, the high holy days. All right, they don't want to uh, return from their wickedness and stop getting lined up, stop committing adultery with other men, women. Can't even stop being poor. That's it. Can't even tell them the, the, the name of the Lord. All right, they, they believe the, the, uh, the name of the Lord is Jesus. All right, that's the worship of another idol. And that's that's lightweight stuff, man. You know, real talk. Like the, the Lord says, his his commandments aren't grievous, man. If, how we how how should we expect a man to say I, I, I serve the Lord, but you can't even give up pork, man? All right, and the Lord, the, the Lord. It's a lot of little things in the. Hey, this is what I say: if a man transgress even one of these little, uh, the small uh, commandments, man, you you trespass the whole book. That's because the little things you people aren't even able to receive, man. And why you think we, they get mad when we don't tell her the name of the Lord? What's the name of the Lord? Man, hey, the scriptures say, uh, cast not your pearls before swine. And if you were telling me the name of the Lord ain't a, ain't a pearl, man, hey, that's hey, that's one of the biggest pearls, man, if not the biggest. Because you can have this doctrine down to a T, all right? But if you ain't got that name, man, you know, so hey, you got to understand that the importance of, of serving in, uh, in the Heavenly Father and following these commandments, man. Right here. Right. Come. First John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. You know, so that's that's the love of God, man. And uh in, in truth and sincerity, you know, keeping his commandments to the best of our ability, man. You know, because you know the, the Lord the Lord tells you to, to not eat certain things, so that's what you're supposed to do. It's just like you listen to your parents. You know, that's the same way with the Lord. If you're not listening to your parents, then if they tell you to uh you know, to uh, to stay inside or or, um, or or don't touch that. Right. All right. You don't do it. You're, you're, uh, you're constantly uh, disobedient. All right. You, you truly don't love your parents. That's right. You know, it's the same thing with Yahweh Hashemel Shah. And Yahweh Hashemel Shah, he's not going to tell you something. You know, that's too hard. You know, he, everything that he that he tells us to do. You know, it, we're capable of doing it. You know. Yeah, you gotta read them. <laughs> All right, this is one of my favorite says, This is um, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. That's right. All right, you know, so, you know, Jake's one always want to know, man, what's my purpose in life? You know, why why, why did the Lord put me here? All right, the Lord answers your question. You know, you are here to, to, to serve the Lord. You are here to be a faithful servant, all right, to keep His law, statutes, and commandments. And, and, and this is why this is why we are we are put on this earth, all right, to to um, to serve Yahweh by Shemel Shai and be that light upon the earth. That's right. That's very. It's a Baruch chapter four verse one. This is the book of the commandments of the Most High and the law that endured forever. And you got the Christian church talking about some of the laws done away with. Mm. All right, which is a lie, man. All right, that's why the Lord is going to come to judge the earth because of what they've been doing, man. All right, it says in the law that endured forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Turn thee, O Jacob, and take hold of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, 
that thou mayest be illuminated, all right? Because this, this word is like light. All right? The Lord said he, he is the light, all right? And we come in that same spirit, man. All right? the, Lord, the Lord gave each brother their certain measure all right? to push his truth. And we that light are up on the hill, man, all right? that cannot be hid. It says, give not thy honor to another, nor things that are profitable, profitable unto, thee, unto thee to a strange nation. O Israel, happy are we for the things that are pleasing to the Most High are made known unto us. us. Be of good cheer, my people. The more the memorial of Israel. All right, this, this will happen. Verse six says, "Ye were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye were, but because ye moved the Most High to wrath, and ye were delivered unto your enemies." Like the brothers wanted to. That's why we we, we in this predicament. Okay. Right, because we were serving other idols, man. All right, which became a snare to us. The Lord said, all right, I'm going to put your ass on those slave ships, man. All right, they're they 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 not going to have no pity on the young or the old. All right, they're going to further push you. I have something, but go ahead, brother. <laughs> hey, because the brother just reminded me, you know, by saying, uh, you know, the law is not done away with. I want to uh, get this. This is Matthew 24 and 35. It says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. So when you understand reincarnation... You can understand how the law is still applicable because Yahweh Shai has been speaking since the beginning of time, man. He says, Lo, I'm written in the volume of book. It is it's written, written to me. me. All right? When you understand all of the reincarnation, and not only that, when you understand that the spirit was moving through all of these men, you understand how the law is still applicable, man. All right? But these people, hey, real talk, saying the law is done away with is a scapegoat. Come all right? On. People are using that as a crux to not serve the Lord. Because if the law is done away with, that means they can do whatever the hell they want, man. Right. All right? When there's a, that's just like in America. If they said there was no law in America, you could do, hey, you can walk down the street and stab somebody and it'd be cool. All right? But no, you got to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. He said heaven and earth shall pass away. And that's what's going to happen. Because this, when them thermonuclear missiles blow down on this place, man, all right? Hey, it's going to, uh, the heavens here are going to be gone. It's going to blow away. The missiles going right. to blow this place up, man. Huh. All right? And then you're going, then, then they're going to see. Uh, you know, then they're going to be like, you know, we should have followed that law. <laughs> that, that's why the scripture call it the second death. Yeah, the second death, man, because, hey, that first death, he took it, he took everybody else out, man. And that's about to happen in Babylon, America. But, now, I'm going to say, because, you know, the Christians say the law is done away with. But even even uh, some Christians, they know about the mark of the beast. They know not to take it. You know, but if, if the law is done away with, you know, why would it matter if you take the mark of the beast or not? You know, and um, I was thinking... And, uh, and, and in Baruch, it says, you know, the law endure forever. That's right. You know, Ooh, I got a scripture. This is um, Romans 3 and 20. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of I'm sin. Saying. All right, so if the law is over and done away with, then then why the Christian church is saying, why the Christian church even talk about sin? Because that's just like Esau's law. If I go over here and break into there and break into this store, you know, that's that's considered burglary. So so that's the same thing we all watching outside. You know, he set laws in place so you know where you're going off at. No officer, the law's been done away so with. Laws over, <laughs> if the law's over done away with, there's there's no sin. You're allowed to sleep with another man's wife and no penalty. I'm allowed to kill you and, and not to happen to you. Right. You know? And he, everything needs a penalty and a consequence, man. All right, the, the Lord is about consequences and actions, man. All right, how, how will He be able to determine who's serving Him and who's not? Who's trying, man? Uh, this is uh, Psalms 19 and 7. It says, The law of the Lord is perfect, That's right. converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple, man. All right, so He said His law is perfect and it converts your soul. See, that's these people in this world, their souls aren't converted because they aren't following the, the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. All right, their their souls are in harmony with Babylon, America. Their souls are in harmony with wickedness. Their souls are in uh, in, in harmony with uh, sin, man. Okay, so you once you understand, the, hey, the Lord, hey, the flesh is the issue. Okay, the Lord says His law of this. Okay, let's think about this. If His law wasn't perfect, why would He promise to seal it in our inward parts? Okay. He's in Jeremiah 31 and 31 and Hebrews 8 and 8. Come on, come on, brother. You know, if that was the case, why would he seal it in our inward parts if it was a problem with the law, man? All right? <laughs> that, that, would, that would be hypocrisy. Man, that would be foolish. He's going to seal it. That means it's not coming out. All right, man. <laughs> it's the book of Hebrews chapter 8 and verse, I'm sorry, verse 6. It says, but now have he obtained a more excellent ministry by how much also.
also he is the mediator of a better covenant. That's right. He's the mediator of a better covenant because this when, when we come and in step into our new lots as true men of the Lord and having our new bodies, it's a better covenant going to go down because now we can serve the Lord in perfection, man. That's right. All right. Go ahead. It says. And that mediator is talking about Yahweh Shah. Yep. It says by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant. Which was established upon better promises. Upon upon better promises, man. Okay, because it's like, hey, this last time we messed up, but hey, you know, we're gonna get it right eventually. But this time it's a better promise, man. So now it's like, hey, y'all ain't gonna go off. Y'all gonna serve me, and it ain't gonna be no error, man. Go ahead. Verse 7. It says, For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. That's right. So if, if, if we had if we had spiritual bodies that first go around, we probably we wouldn't have had this issue. Okay? But now we realize the issues of the flesh. Hey, uh, in the, the, the book of Jude, it caused the flesh to chains of darkness, man. Okay? A chain of darkness, something that's holding us back from serving the Heavenly Father. That's right. Okay, go ahead. It says, verse uh, Hebrews 8 and 7, it says, For if that first covenant had been faultless, then should no place have been sought for the second. Verse 8, For finding fault with them, he come. said, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, when I shall, so that when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of, Ju of Judah. That's right. He said, For finding fault with them. <laughs> all right. We had the fault. All right. We got to, we got to take that, man. That's right. We got to realize that we were going off and that we were, di hey, man, you, 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 dis we disrespected our father, man. All right, you know how, how how much of a disgrace that is, man. To disrespect, and we, hey, it says how how much more the father of spirits, <laughs> you know. Right. We but, disrespected God. Man. That's why these that's why these so called Christians, man, they would like to blame the fault on the law, like the law was the issue. Right. No, it was us serving the Most High. We were at fault. That's right. The that's fault right. was with us. Yeah, with yeah. us. Yeah. The say that the, 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 the law is good and perfect. Con. No, I'm saying it said in the scriptures too as well. Hebrews 8 and verse 9, it says, I'll read it again. It says, For finding fault with them, he said, Behold, the day has come, said the Lord, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Hey, this is New Testament. He ain't saying I'm making a new covenant with the house of Edom. He ain't saying I'm making a new covenant with the house of Moab. All right? He said, I'm making a new covenant with the house of Judah. What is it? Judah and Jerusalem? Uh, Israel and Judah. Judah. Israel and Judah. That's talking about the, uh, if you can pan the sign real quick, uh, that's talking about, you know, the, the southern kingdom. Speaking about Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Okay? Which are the so-called blacks, uh, West Indians, you Jamaicans, uh, Bahamians, uh, and the so-called Haitians. And, and, and uh, Israel is the, is the northern kingdom, man. Simeon down to Issachar, man. You so-called Hispanics and Native Americans, man. All right, that's a, he said. That's the new covenant that he's making, man, with the, the house of his people. That's right. Okay, well, what, what the Christians say? They, they made a new. Um, we are living in a new covenant, right? Yeah, that's crazy. See, you know, but it, it, a lot of a lot of things will be changed, man. All right, but hey, we're we're looking for hey, like the brother mentioned, we're looking for a new heaven and new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, that's man. Right. And that's what's going to be coming when that new covenant is fully set and and, and complete uh, fruition, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 9 It says not according to the covenant That I made with their fathers in a day When I took them by the hand To lead them out of the land of Egypt Because they continued not in my covenant And, rega and regarded them not, And I regarded them not saith the Lord mm -hmm. We didn't regard uh, his law Statutes and commandments man shit Real talk as soon as we got out of Egypt <laughs> We was right back at it You know as soon as we saw the Lord you know, it, Look and this is why he got to give us new bodies Because if the Lord came on his chariots, all right, and we weren't given new bodies, Israel would be like, hey, yo, the chariots here, oh, call on you, how about Shimei al Shah? A week later, we'll be the maid of molten calves, man. <laughs> Can you imagine that, man? That's off, man. That's wicked. That's why the Lord got to do something new to us, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Verse, um, verse 10, it says, uh, Hebrews 8 and 10, it says, For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, said the Lord. Hold on, he said, this is the covenant made with who? The house of Israel. The house of Israel. Go ahead, brother. After those days, said the Lord, I will put my laws into their in, into their minds and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. That's right. So that's that was the point, you know, because we said if the Lord, if the law, if there was a flaw with the law, 
Why would he put it in our minds and our hearts? Why would he seal it in us, man? Okay? But there's not a flaw with that. There's a flaw with the flesh, man. Okay? But that don't mean that you can just be wicked. Like, hey, yo, my flesh wicked, so, you know, just go with the flow. Do you think you got a license to sin now? Nah, man. This, 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 this truth is about discipline, man. The laws of the Lord is about self-discipline. Okay? You, you, it's about restraint. Okay? You got to have restraint when you're doing this thing, man. You got to, some of your conscience got to say, hey, yo, you know what? The Heavenly Father and His Son wouldn't be happy with me doing this. So let me not do it. All right? And, and once, you, once you start stepping into that more and more, you'll see it's a little bit easier as you go, man. Of course, we all got our trials and tribulations and brothers still going through hell. But hey, man, you know, when you go off, you got it. Or you feel like you're you about to go off. Hey, Lord, please deliver me. He said the Lord know how to deliver the righteous out of uh, temptations, man. That's right. All right? Quick reset. Uh, this is uh, Sirach chapter 15, verse 20. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly, neither have he given. Not, neither have he given any man license, license to sin. You know, so that's a cut. You know, saying the law is done away with. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't give us, you know, the, the freedom to, to do whatever, whatever the fuck we want. All right. All right? He, he always told us to keep the laws after his commandments. You know, to generation to generation. That's right. It's uh, Hebrews 8 and verse 11. It says, And they shall not teach every man his neighbor, and every, it's like, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord. For all shall know me from the least to the greatest. That's right, from the least to the greatest. And the least is going to be you damn celebrities. <laughs> you know, hey, in the kingdom, you know, we ain't going to have to say, hey, yo, you know, hey, hey, brother, he goes Second Chronicles, the fourth chapter. You know what I'm saying? Break it down. Hey, we're going to know the Lord, man. That Lord going to be in us, man. Everybody going to be saying, call the Lord, you how about Shemiah was shot, man. Everybody going to be giving praise to the Lord, man. All right? Because he's going to do, uh, uh, it's going to be truly a divine intervention, man. Right. Something, something miraculous is taking place, man. Okay, something the world has never seen. And that's that's a big reason why these people can't grasp nothing we talk about. These are things that are unforeseen. All right, this is where your faith kicks in. These are things that people can't imagine. What you mean y'all going to be getting beamed up on spaceships, getting new bodies, man? You know, it sounds unreal to these people. But we through faith, we believe this, man. And we through faith, real talk, believe is one thing. We know this. We know this, man. At the end of the day, regardless of you decide to fall out, if the Lord take his spirit off you, this is going to happen. <laughs> this is going to happen. He said, uh, for what if some did not believe? Does that Go ahead, brother. <laughs> it's the book of Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Share their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect. Hey, so regardless of, hey, regardless of whoever you are on the face of the earth, you can believe whatever the hell you want to right now. The Lord's word is going to come to pass, man. Point blank, period. No matter what you believe, no matter who you are, at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh word is the thing that's going to stand. That's right. Verse 4, Yahweh forbid. Hell no, nah, man. The Lord, he, he says, my word, he says, my counsel shall stand and I shall do all my pleasure, man. That's right. <laughs> all right. He says, I am in the heavens and I shall do whatever I please, man. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead. It says, yea, let the most high Yahweh Bashem Yahweh be true, mm -hmm. but every man a liar. As it is written that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and mightest overcome when thou art judged. That's right. Hey, hey, all these people are liars, man. It says, let the most high be true. All right. He said his words are true and faithful, man. All right. Hey, when you, uh, it's something that we can count on, man. All right. This is, hey, this Babylon ain't give you nothing to count on. Babylon ain't give you no promise of salvation. Babylon ain't gave you no promise of a uh, solution. But the Heavenly Father has given that to us, man. This, that's why, real talk, in a, in, a, in a dark place, this is the only light. This is that light in the end of the tunnel, man. But y'all brothers got it. I was going for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is Philippians chapter 3 and verse 20. Ooh, that's spirit. For our conversation is in heaven. Can you start at 14, Papa Shot? Con. Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God and Hamashiach Yahushak. Yeah, so we press towards the mark of the high calling, man. Scripture said, many are called, but few are chosen, man. I that finish line. I we keep scripture liking this truth unto a race. All right, and we we, we seek in the kingdom, man. I just should say uh, that he may run that reading, man. Read that again, brother. Pressing towards the mark. We keep going. We looking forward. This is Philippians three and fourteen. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the Most High and of Mashiach Yahweh yep. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. Mm -hmm. And if any, and if 
and Salaki, and if in anything ye be otherwise minded, the Most High shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule. That's right. Let us mind the same thing. Yep. Brethren, be followers together of me, yep. and press them which walk so as ye have us for an example. Yep. That's what the scripture said. Hey, mark the perfect man. Mm -hmm. I, I think I uh, Psalms 37, 37, mark the perfect man because the end of that man is peace, man. We got examples in the truth, man. Verse 18, for many of whom I have told you often and now tell you even weeping that they are enemies of the cross of Amashiach, whose end is destruction, That's right. whose God is their belly and whose glory is in their shame, whose mind, who mind earthly things. Yep. Two thirds, yep. all right. They mind earthly things. That's why you can't speak unto them uh, spiritual things. You can't even, uh, you can't speak unto spirit things because they don't need to get the carnal things. And if I may, real quick, he said, "Whose God is their belly?" All right. Why is their belly their God? It's because you know, it's just like eating, man. All right. When you eat something, all right, you go off and you you be wicked. All right. As soon as that's out of your system, you go ahead and get something else to fill your belly, man. All right. Always wanting to that unsatiable act of just being wicked, man. All right, you serving your own belly, you serving the things after your own lust, man. All right, instead of coming back to the Lord, but you got it, brother. And I want to just add to it because it says, "And who mind earthly things?" You know, because people, you know, if they got they they got they uh they bread and crumbs back. You know, they got the NBA back. You know, that's all Jake want to talk about now. They want to post, you know, uh, videos of the NBA. You know, but all that shit means nothing, man. You know, that, that that's all they care about. They don't care about the heavenly father. Yo, the same way we catch on fire speaking the word of the most high, these two thirds they catch on fire when it comes to talking about sports. You know, basketball, football, they just get on fire. It's like dang. Right. It's like, yo, why don't you have that same fire with the word of the Lord? You know what I mean? I got a scripture. Oh, is it live? This is Colossians three and two. Set your affections on things above, not on things on this earth. You know, and that's talk about you know the brothers you know um, it's like a two-thirds you know they they set their affections on things on this earth right. all right basketball football you know they um they 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 um they, their dreams and aspirations you know going going to going to college going to uh you know playing football right. you know that, that's that's yeah. carnal things right. all right but we we set our affections on things above that's right. you know um you know thinking about what's what's what, what's going to be like in the kingdom that's right all right meditating on terror you know, um, imagine these Edomites are under under our foot. That's right. You know? Yes. Yeah. I, I was watching uh, yeah. the, uh, the documentary of uh, Bruce Lee. You know, um, and, you know, even though he was a good fighter, man, that, that was his God, man. Uh, trying to be uh, kung fu is his mm -hmm. God, man. Yeah. Every day he he, he woke up uh, in one episode. He had woke up out of his sleep and just started doing push-ups and uh, and started exercising. You know. Okay. That's his God, man. It's a shame, you know. Jake is like that. Man. That's right. Mm -hmm. LeBron James, his God is basketball. Yep. You know, during the uh, pandemic, you know, instead of him trying to return on to your house by Chanel Shaw, what he doing? Yep. Uh, shooting basketball and, yep. and uh, shooting hoops in his house. Yep. You know, working out. Yep. You know, all that shit is not going to mean nothing when, when that when that day comes. That's all right? right, when all hell start breaking loose. That's right. When the, when the economy collapses. All right, when they start pushing that RFID chip, when the when the when the RFID chip is made mandatory, man. All right, what is the what is the fucking basketball gonna do in that day when they got uh, martial law troops here, man? When Russia, Iran building up for those nuclear missiles, man. All right, the fucking the elites, they got bunkers. All right, the elites, they got bunkers. They about to they about to get in their bunkers. That's why you got the, the, the tech companies over here in California. They building up bunkers over there in New Zealand. And where's these people bunkers? All right, they think everything's good. Hey, right, World War Three is gonna happen because it's prophesied in the scriptures, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, let me finish off Philippians. Uh, Philippians three and twenty four. Our conversation right. is in heaven. Well, from whence also we look for the Savior, That's right. the Just Lord, Hamashiach so Yehoshad, who shall change our vile body, That's right. mm -hmm. that it may be fashioned like unto His glorious body, That's right. mm -hmm. according according to the working whereby He is able even to subdue all things unto Himself. Yeah, so we gonna have the Lord gonna give us new bodies. If you want to get that in the I'm already there, brother. Corinthians, yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> this, uh, uh, this is only for, for Israel, man. The elect of the nation of Israel, which we so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, also the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the nation. 
right? The Lord is only coming back for his people, right? That was that was in hardcore slavery, right? That's that's under these Edomites, right? None of these other nations. The Lord, the Lord don't care about these other nations. He's coming back for, for the nation of Israel, the elect. And he's going to give us new bodies. And he's going right. to rule over these heathens. That's right. right. This is 1 Corinthians 15 and 48. That's right. As is the earthy, such are they that are earthy. That's right. And as is the heavenly, such is also that are heavenly. And as we have borne the image of the earthy, yeah. we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Yeah, so we in these flesh, like the brothers came but mentioned earlier, I these chains of darkness. Yeah. Alright, the Lord gonna give yeah. us new bodies, man. Yeah. Alright? We're gonna be able to we're gonna be able to fly. That, when, they, when they get the X-Men stuff from, right, from our script from, from the scriptures, man. Alright? The Lord will give us new bodies, man. And that's what we that's what we have been hoping for, man. Esau can't never give us that, man. That's right, yeah. man. Now this I say, brethren. That flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Right. Neither doth corruption inherit corruption, incorruption, slavery. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. So, so the Lord said we don't be changed, man. All right, so when, when we've been delivered into those chariots and so-called UFOs, all right, the Lord gonna give us new bodies, man. All right, these bodies get weak, we sick. Brothers got different ailments. Yep. You got to worry about disease. The fact that we got to wear condoms is an issue, man. Con. What man really like condoms, bro? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hell no, nah, man. That's true. You know, and what? I'm going to let y'all know what's really spiritual, though. This morning, I was reading Philippians 3 and 20 and 1 Corinthians, the 15 chapter. And I wanted to do a video on it. And y'all brothers can't. Man, that's the spirit, bro. You know? Call out your how about smell shot. But uh, verse 52, it says, In a moment... In the twinkling of an eye at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Yeah, so we're going to be changed, man. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, it's going to happen like that, man. All right, that's what the brother quoted earlier, the righteous shall scarcely be saved, man. All right, it's going to be, whoop. All right, while those missiles coming down, we're going to be delivered up, man. And that's what we look, that's what we hope for, man. That's what all, all that's what we labor for, man. All right, to, to see the Lord, to meet the Lord in the air, man. Ultimately, that's our reasonable service. I serve me how about my shot because he called us in his truth, man. He could left us out here being niggas, man. All right, come uh, on. It says, uh, for this corruptible must put on incorruption, yep. and this mortal must put on immortality. Yeah, so you're going to put on immortality living forever, ever, man. Mm -hmm. I was a, uh, mortal is a, basically like death, man. Yep. I we going to put it. Yeah, because we, we don't, our people, you see our family, they, always, they don't live that long, man. All right, they don't live that long, but we gonna live forever. Mm -hmm. The Lord said He gonna give us life everlasting if we forsake everything. You know? Hey, you know, like the brother mentioned, uh, you know, that being mortal. That's why Apostle Gabor always says, "Hey, man, these are mortal men." You know, because they're, they're not only are they they're living the living dead, like Revelation eleven and eight says, these people are mentally and spiritually dead, man. Okay, but we're we're trying to. It says we got to put on. We trying to look for immortality, man. That's when you read Second Ezra, the second chapter. It talks about. Uh, uh, putting on those uh, immortal garments, man. Okay, because that's what we're seeking. We're seeking a, a life immortal, man. Immortality. Okay, we're not. We're not, we're trying to be on a, a higher plane than these people, man. That's right. These people are not. They're seeking death. Okay, and we're seeking life, man. All right. Um, I would just want to get because you talked about the mortal. This is uh, Colossians three and five. Actually, I started uh, uh four. It says, "When Hamashiach, who is our life, shall appear." Then shall ye also appear with him in glory. That's right. Mortified, that's that same word as mortal, all right, which means to make dead. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry, man. All right, so you got to mortify those deeds of the flesh, man. You got to cut that off, man. It's an inordinate affection. I did a video the other day about this damn Edomite who's a pedophile, man. And he's uh he's he's getting uh, an appeal, all right. They 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 uh they sanction his appeal to go forth, saying it is basically they're trying to make it legal for them to mess with little boys, man. Hmm. This place is finished, man. And once once he gets once he uh uh wins that case, yeah. this is gonna open up the floodgates. Yeah. Floodgates, yeah. man. So it is. Yeah, I mean he did it intentionally. This is how you know the mind of the devil. He, the Esau the Edomite did it intentionally. So he could get traction on moving the pedophilia agenda moving forward. He just went out being wicked, 
Like, you know, this is the thing about Edomites. You know what I'm saying? It says the Lord says they are the sword. They are the wicked of the earth. So not only are they uh, just being devils, all right? They have a, a subtle plan with their uh, demonic actions, man. So his plan was to go out and be wicked this whole time. His plan was to set this up so he can get the pedophilia movement going forward. And I ain't trying to make it about that. I was just making a point. It's Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1. It says, Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and write grievousness which they have prescribed. Those unrighteous decrees, like you already see Esau playing what he's doing, man. That's why the scripture said we're not even as Satan's devices, man. Right, once, they, once they have that, then they can open up even more laws right, to, to make it, to make it uh, legal to have sex with little kids. I wish it's an abomination, man. All these elites, they just caught Bill Clinton with with uh talk with uh me with look young kids, man. Mm -hmm. I all those elites, that whole that whole what's it, Epstein shit, I the Pizza Gate, I all these all these people that rule this, this so called so called society are, are pedophiles and, and the fucking uh, demons, man. And that's why you see Edomites look the way that they do, man. Have you seen that recent picture of Bill Clinton, man? <laughs> he looks fucking dead, bro. He looks dead, and that's because of the things that they do, man, and the actions that they take, eating blood. Fucking with little kids, you know, all of that kind of stuff, man. They look terrible, man. Somebody had to say he looked, he looked like he in his mid millions. <laughs> <laughs> his mid millions. He threw, bro. <laughs> I forgot. What was the. Uh, you said something I wanted to touch on bringing up Bill Clinton. Six. Fuck. Yeah, it was something else. Oh, okay, sorry. I lost it. Yeah, this on, uh, on, uh, immortality. Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 23. For God created man to be immortal. And made him to be an image of his own eternity. Nevertheless, the envy of the devil came death into the world. And they that do hold of his side, do, and they that do hold of his side, do find it. You know, so so you know, trying to be like these other nations. You know, uh, first first off, Eve, man. All right, you know that's how death came into this. That's how death came into this world. You know, but but the Lord, He made us He made us to be immortal, man, to live forever. All right, you know, the, the Lord loved us so much, you know, he wants us to live forever. He doesn't want us to live, you know, just a, just a hundred years, you know, and, 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 and never see the earth again, you know, the, never see his beauty again. That's why the scriptures say, I have no pleasure in the death of him that died. Uh -huh. and, you know, even even if, when you think of the men of old, Methuselah lived like 965 years or something like that. You know what I mean? That's light work for what's going to be compared to the kingdom, man. You know, but hey, that, that's about a lifetime to uh, a, a full day, you know, to get judgment, man. But uh, let me, I wanted to get this, going back to 1 Corinthians. This is 1 Corinthians 15 and uh, uh, verse 21. It says, for since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of, resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Hamashiach shall all be made alive. Man. You see that? So through Adam, through Eve, through following after the flesh, all right, we became dead, but following after Yahweh Shai, we're gonna be made alive, man. That's right. That's what I'm kind of, I gotta say. Chip said the days of Israel is innumerable. All right, mm -hmm. that's in the that's in the Sirach Hagen right You can have three seven one. I was gonna cause you said the days uh, are innumerable, so I'm gonna go ahead and get. Okay, go ahead. This is uh, Ecclesiastes Ecclesiasticus thirty seven and twenty five. It says the days of the life of men may be numbered. But the days of Israel are innumerable, right? Mm -hmm. So you can't count, you're not gonna be able to count, right? Because the Lord said we're gonna live forever, man. Mm -hmm. All right? She said, what, Peter asked the Lord, you forsaken all, what shall we see therefore? The Lord said, you're gonna sit on 12 thrones, judging the 12 tribes of Israel. All right, you're gonna be like, you're gonna receive a hundred and you're gonna receive life everlasting, man. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah 65 and 22. They shall not build and another inhabit, they shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree are the days of my people, right. and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. Mm -hmm. So when you it says the days of my the days of my people are the days of a tree, man. When you think about a tree, when you when you go to like a lot of these uh, big forests and they got them huge evergreens, they got them huge trees out there, and they, they try to cut the tree down or an oak tree, and then they try to uh, find out how much life it has, and they'll look and say each ring represents a year of that tree, man. You got trees out here been living a long time, man. Come all right, and it was if it wasn't for Esau, they'll be living even longer, man. Yeah. All right, they got the pollution. They got them chopping them down. They got uh, chemtrails in the air, putting stuff in the water. All right, so trees aren't even giving them life. But he said the days of my people are gonna be like a tree, man. Yep. For hey, living forever, man. Yep. It's the book of Mark, chapter nine, verse one. It says, and he said unto them 
Verily I said to you that there shall there be some of them that, that stand here which shall not taste of death till they have seen the kingdom of the most high come with power. So there's gonna be some men that's not gonna taste death, man. Mm -hmm. right, even on this on this side, you're not gonna die. You're not gonna die and you're gonna live forever, man. That's uh Mark, Mark 9 and 1. Alright. Yeah, so this is John 2 and verse 17. And the world passeth away and the lust thereof. But he that doeth the will of the most high abideth forever. Mm -hmm. Alright? And like the brother said, it's gonna be gonna be brothers that never taste that never um, tasted death all right you know so but it's, but the ways of sin is death all right and, and, and as long as we following after the hell watch now shine doing the will of the heavenly father all right we, we shall not taste death and even if the, the brothers that do there are martyrs on this side hey that's not death all right the, the two-thirds they're going to receive death they, they're going to receive death by pain all right but but um but you know, we we die. We gonna we gonna be right up with the heavenly Father. All right, um, you know, um, cheer, cheering on, cheering on, uh, cheer, cheering on the the elect. All right, so so um, so the, the elect, we we are not gonna taste death. That's right, brother. And the, the um, it says the dead and the mouth shock shall rise first. Uh, you know, so they're gonna get their reward first, man, uh, by being raised up. First. And, and I just wanna say real quick, that's why you read in the scriptures. Of course, we read about the word death and dead, but that's why a lot of times when you read that same chapter, like the brother brought out, uh, it'll say uh, it'll say we're asleep. Okay, it'll say we're asleep, and that, the reason is because we understand that death is when you think of the word death is like hey, you know, you put put in the ground and it's a rat for you. All right, but we know that through the spirit we're gonna be alive again. So so by sleeping, we just gonna wake up to life, man. That's all it is. Y'all keep bringing me back to First uh, Corinthians 15. <laughs> but uh, I just want to get this. Um, this is uh, First Corinthians 15. Hold on. Oh, it says, uh, verse 20. It says, but now it's a Mashiach risen from, the, uh, risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept, man. You know, so, hey, man, we're, we're at the end of the day, the Lord did these things for us because we understand that if you got to if you got to become a martyr, hey, you only taking a sleep for a shorter period of time, man. Sure. And the Lord going to wake you back up. And it, who, who knows how quick that's going to be? You know, yeah, that that death might feel like, hey, that's what it says. Death wears thy sting in that same chapter. <laughs> death wears thy sting because it's going to, hey, you might get put to death. You might not even feel it. And then on that, you're going to wake back up. Right. You might wake up and that might be the chariot. You might go to sleep. Next thing you know, you you waking up to the chariots, man. Hey, man, death, death is death is not having, um, not knowing the truth, you know, not uh, being in that in that in that dark state of mind, calling yourself black, Hispanic, and Native American. That's 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 the real death, you know, because because you're not alive. You know, John six sixty three says, uh, it's, uh, 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 John six sixty three is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profits nothing. Okay, All right, so what, that's um, it's how about you shot uh, spirit. You know, uh, resting upon I know you. you. Hey, man, that, that's yeah, the light. Yeah, the in here. It's great. You got to put that back. But this one works. See the lights on? Okay. Yeah, see it? Okay. Oh, I got it. I got it. That's cool. This is from the Proverbs chapter 21 and verse 16. It says, The man that wandered out of way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. Like the brothers wanted to, man. All right, once you don't have this knowledge, like you're dead, man. All right? That's why you're dead because, hey, this is life. The scripture said, like, the, the word is quick and it makes you alive, man. Right, but if you were in a way of understanding, then you're going to remain in the congregation of the dead. Yeah, right. uh, this is uh, Psalms 118 and 17. Actually, let me start up. Uh, Psalms 118 and 14. It says, The Lord is my strength and song and has become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord do doeth valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord, man. All right? So, hey, at the end of the day, we ain't going to die doing this thing, man. All right? If you serve me, how about you, outside, you only seeking life, man. You know? Hey, and all you, all you, any people out there that's actually, you get so beat down, you know, and I, I, I did a video of something saying, like, have you had evil thoughts? Sometimes, hey man, you you might a thought might come across your mind like man, I, I'd rather I'd rather perish. 
All right, I'd rather be a part of here. You know, that's what Philippians 1 and 20 on down talks about. Saying, hey, but it's better for us to be with the, uh, to do the work of the elect. All right, to spring in the elect. Because you dying off, you know what I'm saying? If I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to die. What's that going to benefit the ministry, man? You know, that's another brick taken out of the, uh, the, the, the Lord's lively stones from building the house of David. So you taking, you not being here is not uh, beneficial to you, man. All right? You, you, and that's the thing. When you become, when you find out you're an Israelite and you start doing this work, you take off that selfish tendency, man. It ain't about just you no more, man. We're doing this for a nation, man. That's right. But you got it off. But this is the point of, the brother said, the dead shall rise. The dead and the shall rise first, man. Can I get this one more? Oh, first? It's, <laughs> it's one more now. I got to get it. It's a lock here. It says, the Lord hath chastened me sore, but he hath not given me over unto death. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Hey, you get your ass beat, but hey, the Lord ain't giving you over unto death, man. So go ahead, brother. Uh, it's the book of uh, Second Thess no, so like First Thessalonians chapter four and verse three, thirteen. It says, "But I would not have you ignorant, have, so like, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep." Like the brothers wanted to, right? Sleep with, you. Like, sleep meaning like to, to basically like, like to, to die, but. Once we sort of died in the truth, we're gonna be risen first, man. Right. It says, concerning them that are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Yahweh Shai died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Yahweh Shai will the most high bring with them. Right, just how the Lord hey, uh, rose up our Lord Yahweh Shai, that's the way the Lord is gonna use. The most high y'all gonna use your house, y'all to raise us up, man. In those chariots, man. Verse 15. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. So this like brother like Shrip said, some men that sh that shall not taste death, all right, shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, and with the voice of the archangel. Of the most high, and the dead in the Mashiach shall rise first. Marcus, 
the RFID chip, it's the mark of the beast, man. It says, verse 10, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture in the cup of his, of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstones in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So the ones who, who uh, basically gave their life over to Esau and this whole system, they're going to die in front of the so the angels, verse 11, it says, And the smoke of their torments ascended up forever and ever, and they had no rest day nor night who worshiped the beast in his image, and whosoever received the mark of his name. Here is the patience of the saints, and here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and the faith of Yahweh Shah. There's a point right, right here, verse 13. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their worst will follow them. So the ones who die, their worst will follow them. And they're going to they gonna be the one, ones chosen to receive that salvation. Uh, I wanted to get this one real quick. Uh, this is uh, Second Peter. Did you, did you read the worst follow them? Yeah, that was it. Uh, this is uh, Second Peter 2. And uh, I'm going to start at 10. It says, But chiefly them that walk after the flesh and the lust of uncleanness, and despise government presumptuously they are self-willed they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities you know they, it says despise government what, what, through the spirit the Lord is setting up his 144,000 men to be the governing body of the nation of Israel and ultimately the world but so why, why when these people they get attitudes when we out here doing the work and things like that they despise government man they despise order they despise righteousness okay it says, whereas angels which are greater in power and mock, bring not railing accusation against them before the Lord. You know, ultimately, this is about uh, the elect, all right? Okay, but it says, uh, but these, as natural brute beasts, and Apostle Zahar was going into this, like talking about these two-thirds, how they're brute beasts, man, okay? These people are, are beasts, they act like animals, man, right. okay? It says, uh, but these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not, and shall perish in their own corruption, man. All right, they're going to perish in their own corruption. So that, and, that, and that's why the thermonuclear missiles that's going to destroy America, the Lord is going to be justified in it, man. They're going to perish in their own corruption because when we told the people to get right before the Lord came back, and you said, nah, I'm going I'm to get left, then hey, man, that's on you. You're going to die here, man. That's right. You're going to perish, man. The Lord going to do away with you. He don't got a use for you, man. This is the book of Zechariah chapter 7. In verse 11, it says, But they refused to hearken and pulled away the shoulder and stopped their ears that they should not hear. And that's two thirds of our people, man. I do the, you try to grab somebody and they pull the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> you hear that? And they, they stop their ear. You know, they try to act like they don't want to hear it. All right? But judgment's going to come, come to them, man. I'll continue on. Verse uh, 12, it says, Yeah, they, yeah. They made their hearts an adamant stone. Hmm. Least they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord of hosts. Because the Lord sent his prophets out like to, to warn our people, man. To get the blood out, to, to warn our people that the sword is coming. And to tell our people they repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, but they don't want to hear. Alright, so a great wrath came. Verse 13. Therefore it has come to pass that as he cried. They would not hear, so they cry, and I would not hear, said the Lord of hosts, man. So these people know me. Why you dwelling in national teeth, man? And we're not gonna feel sorry for these people, man. Like we told we told our family, we told the people we know, people we know we close to them, we love them. We said it out of love, man. And they thought we was saying it out of hate. So so when the Lord started bringing judgment upon our people, hey, we not we're not gonna shed a tear for them people. Want to bring this out. This is uh, First Corinthians uh, 15, verse 50. It says, "Now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the Most High. Neither do with corruption inherit any corruption." Okay. And therefore, the Scripture says, "Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of, of an eye, at the last trump. For the trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised." Uh, incorruptible, and we shall be changed, okay? And we shall all be changed, but we, we, we have to uh, put on the incorruption. I mean, we have to put on the corruption, the incorruptible, okay? Because flesh and blood shall not inherit the kingdom of heaven, okay? 
And if you understand that, then you understand that the Most High is dealing with the spirit. Okay? He's not dealing with the flesh. Okay? So those of our brothers who died in the spirit, they're going to be raised uh, incorruptible, man. They're going to return with the Lord. All right? And the scripture says, for this, for this corruptible must put on incorruption. And this mortal must put on immortality, okay? So we have to put on the spirit of the Lord. And the spirit of the Lord is immortality, okay? We have to model ourselves after him, okay? Because the Lord said that we were going to be as sons, man. The elect is going to be as sons, okay? So if we're going to be as sons, we're not going to die. Because Yahweh Shai lives forever, man, okay? Yahweh Shai lives forever, all right? I got a preset. This is, uh, you got one cue? No, you got it first. You let me go first last time. <laughs> All right, brother. All right, this is Wisdom of Solomon, uh, chapter 5. I'll start at the top. Uh, the point is that, verse 5. Uh, then, then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. You know, these people out here, they don't, they don't, they don't make no account of our labors. You know, our, our family, our friends, you know, we're not a prophet, in a, you know, in our own country, in our own city, in our own household, man. All right, then they think that we're doing this, uh, you know, for nothing, man. Right? And verse 2 says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Right. So far beyond all that they look for. You know, us being beaten up, you know, floating in the air, being beaten up into the chariots, that's going to be very strange to all right, because because they, they, they don't know the Lord, man. They don't know any scriptures. They don't know the promise that the Lord, Yahweh Shai, has for us. That's right. All right, in verse 3 it says, And they repenting and groaning from anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. You know, they call us bums. You know, that, that word on our security guard, he actually came up and said, Do we have jobs? No, he was sincere. He was sincere too, but he asked us, do we have jobs? Because we're always out here. Hey, at the end of the day, hey, this is our job, man. Right. You know, at the end of the day. So, you know, this question, yeah, this is our profession. It's an occupation, man. All right? A ministry, man. It, we, ministry goes back to serve. So this is work, all right? That's why we say, uh, when we open up our video, the men that are doing this work in sincerity and truth. This is a job, man. All right? Uh, I want to mention, though, because the brother is talking about the salvation. Any brothers who haven't seen the video from the brother uh, Manatazak from uh, 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 Ancient of Days camp, Apostle R posted the video. Man, that, that, beautiful, that, that video brought me to tears, man. He's talking about the salvation. He said when he went to the room, uh, it had a five on the door. That was power. So he didn't even say that. But you got to know those things through the spirit. Five is symbolic of power. He So he went to the door. It's five on the door. He said they got beamed up into the ships. He said there some IUIC dudes in there. And they, while they elect in there saying, all praise to you, how about Shimmy I was shine. Then they're like, we made it. We made it. That's true, man. You, they, they only think about themselves. But the men of the Lord were saying, all praise to you, how about Shimmy I was shot. But he said they asses got left sent to a room and it got quiet Hey, they got judged in there man they thought they made hey, and what a hey, the irony is we don't know if the lord would do that or not you feel me because the lord, of course we know the elect gonna be delivered but what if the lord beam up iuic don't give them no new bodies and then destroy their asses up there man you know yeah highly unlikely but nonetheless <laughs> but nonetheless it's a it's a it's a beautiful uh a beautiful testimony from that brother man you know uh, but I, I was, somebody was reading. You was reading. Yeah, two more verses. Uh, verse four it says, "We fools accounted his life madness, and his end to be without honor." You know, the, the, you know the, 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 they, they say that uh, that that we are crazy. You know, we out here screaming at the screaming at the white man. You know, our our end is not, not going to be without honor. We're not going to get. They don't they don't believe that we're going to get crowned. You know, by the war. You know, Lord willing. You know, we enduring this thing. Bodies, and we're going to be the, uh, the the real celebrities, that's right? You know, in the kingdom, man. That's right. All right. In verse five, it says, "How is he numbered among the children of God? And how is his lot among the saints?" That's right. You know, that, that's these two thirds going to be saying, man. You know, uh, uh, counting, uh, counting, you know, our, our life madness. You know, thinking that we thinking that we're doing this, you know, for, for no real cause. You know, but you know, uh, the Lord He's going to deliver us away. Uh, they're going to be uh, bent out of shape, man. That's right. right. But not serving you. I'm trying to think. Uh, I got something. Go ahead, bro. This is 1 Corinthians 4 and 9. For I think that the Most High has set forth 
us the apostles last, as it were appointed to death. For we are made a spectacle unto the world and, and to the angels and to men. We only look like a fool, you know, to, to these idiots, yeah, you know, so but to Yahweh, Bashem, and the host yeah. of angels, you know, this is well pleasing unto them. Uh, Revelations 2 and 2. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou, and how thou canst not bear them which are evil. You know, so the Lord, he knows our words, he knows, you know, the, the wickedness, you know, here in Babylon. You know, we, we, go, we go out driving, you know, we see uh, homosexuals. All right, we see side rides, we see, you know, Jake with blonde hair, you know, blind us, all that shit is fixed. All right, it says, and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and hast found them liars, man. You know, it started with, you know, apostles to heart, you know, to the rest of the apostles and elders and brothers. You know, we, we are exposing all the lies that Esau has put out. You know, the wisdom of this world is all, is all that have been put to shame, you know, Break it down the stronghold. Hey, you see, that's where you'll have uh, these pastors in these churches. They, you know, they'll try to read something like that. Oh, I'm up here preaching to y'all. I'm preaching to the choir. You know what I'm saying? All right, man, that's foolish. That's real foolishness right there. What we're doing is in righteousness, all right? Because it pleased the Lord for us to be out here, man. All right, real talk. If you look at this, this is order, man. When you see all the brothers standing out here, we had two Edomites come out standing out there. Like, What's going on over here? You know what I'm saying? They see all these brothers out with Bibles out. You know, this is this is class, this is ministry, and it's a, a sacrifice we're giving to the Lord, man. All right? But if, you, uh, if you're a wicked man, you only going to see foolishness, man. All right? But this is a pleasing thing to the Lord for us to come out here and prophesy. And, hey, when the brother brought that second Ezra 2 earlier, it says uh, we will uh, we will talk about our, our Savior openly, man. Okay? Uh, what did I I want to get this because the brother was talking about the crown. Uh, this is 2 Timothy uh, 4, and I'm going to start at 7. It says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. And not to me only, but unto all them that love his appearing, man. So that's what we're looking after, man. We're looking for a crown, man. A crown of righteousness. He says it not to me only, but all to all them that love his appearing, man. Of course it's gonna be a frightening thing to say you how about Shimia Uh come man. But we're gonna be giving them praises, man. We're gonna be glory and we're gonna love his appearing, man. We this is the day we've been talking about, man. Alright? We're gonna be giving them glory. And, hey, while we trembling, we're gonna be giving glory to the Lord, the glory and the praise, man. You know? Right, that's right. How was shine our deliver us, Baba Pasha. You know? But everybody else, they're gonna come, they're gonna be feeble, man. They're gonna it says their hearts melt, man. These people gonna have heart attacks. They're gonna die. These people gonna be giving up the spirit. They, they, they ain't waiting for that day. 
That's what the brothers started off. Woe unto them that desire the day of the Lord, man. We looking for a crown of righteousness, man. Why you guys are not Going into the crowds. Uh, we read Second Edges. I'll, I'll start from that point and continue down. Second Edges chapter 2 and verse 36. It says, Flee the shadow of this world. Receive the joyfulness of your glory. I testify my Savior openly, man. That's why the Lord said, Go out on the highways and byways, man. Bid, bid them to the marriage, man. And, and, and the chief place of concourse. But that's where Jake gonna be at, man. You know, not, not right now, but <laughs> they still here. But you know, this shit all shut down. Yeah, we shut down. Hurricane. It's gonna be a hurricane, right? <laughs> but it, the Lord told us to do that. So, it's, uh, verse 37 it says, Go oh, receive the gift that is in me. righteous mindset to have. That's what's when you read 2 Peter uh, 1 and 10, it says uh, do these things, you shall not fall, man. Alright, go ahead. Verse uh, 40, take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those that are, that are sorry, up, shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. That's right, this goes hand in hand with uh, Revelation the 7th chapter, man. Alright, it says those that are clothed in white uh, uh, because it talks about the elect being clothed in white in the kingdom of heaven, man. All right, go ahead. Verse 41, it says, The number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. Right, and so, first of all, I want to talk about the white thing. The white thing is not only, it's, it's spiritual, okay? Because when you, like we actually talking about white means cleanness. Samuel, look not on his con on his countenance, nor on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. That's that nigga mind. You can speak on that. That's the point. I, the Lord looking for that spirit. That's what I said. That's who spirit I is no God. Yeah. 
down and think of what I lost. That was in here. No? No. I was just going to say, hey, I, you, I see a habit to where they see the chariots coming. You know, the scripture's talking about not running back in your house, but they'll run back in your house and put their friends on real quick. Hey, the Lord's here. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Come back, Lord, already left. <laughs> I got it. Right, right. The chariots are passed on by. I got a quick scripture. Go ahead, bro. This is good. This talk, is very interesting. We're talking about the Bible. Oh. And we're talking about how the America is about to be destroyed off the face of the earth. I agree with that. Hey, second half. Call out y'all about you your know. Also, so-called white people are going into slavery. Right. Oh, my God. Right? Really, Do you with that one, too? Oh, my God. Like, like, uh, what does it entail? Like, like, hardcore bondage. Like, you heard about the so-called African-American hey, slavery? with that bondage. Oh, see, see, hey, ah, 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 <laughs> see, that, that's the way to eat some eat a white woman, though. You know, they see, she, there's a wicked man, you know, but she, you know, she, she got that, she, she like that. She, she, she want to be a bad wench, man. You know, that, that's why, that's the people that they're meant to be. All right, they're, the Lord says they're the basis of men and they're the servants. All right, even though she with that wicked bondage shit, but she, she, she got that freak mentality, man. You know, but see that—that's the ways of these people. She, you see, she didn't deny it though. She, she didn't say, "Oh no, uh, that's a problem." She's with the slavery. She's like, "Well, what does it entail? What do I got to do?" You know, and she, she want, she wanted a bad looking one, so she, she might, you know, she been house little bad wench. You know what I'm saying? She, 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 she trying to be chose, you know. You know, with all these Edomites when they come by here, they already know. What, what our message is. Yep. They just can't wait to hear, oh, you're going into slavery so they can explode and be like, me? Like, yes, you yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's what they're waiting for, man. Yeah. But let's, let's get back on it. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, this book of Second Edges, chapter 2, in verse, um, I'll read verse 41, it says, in the, in the verse 40, it says, Take thy number, O Zion, and shut up those of thine that are clothed in white, which have fulfilled the law of the Lord. The number of thy children whom thou longest for is fulfilled. I just want to say, he said, that the number that thou longest for is fulfilled, man. All right, because all that we do when we talk about the elect, it's about sealing the elect, okay? That 144,000 men and those one-third of the men, women, and children out there, it says they have served the Lord, man. All right, that number is fulfilled, man. And we're going to be glorying in that. Be happy about uh, that time that we're all sealed, you know? Go ahead. This book of Revelation, chapter 7, verse 1. It says, and after these things I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the, on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw, it, and that's the angels holding back the winds, the destruction. And I saw another angel sending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice unto the four angels, to him to whom it was given to hurt this earth. to like holy or sanctified, all right? Separate and set apart from this world, man. So now that this, this is uh, the total fruition of what we've been waiting for, brothers, all right? Waiting till our Lord come back and elect our sealed, man, all right? Because he says when that elect sealed, that's when the judgment gonna come, that's right? All right, go ahead. Second Edges 2 and verse 41, I Edger saw upon the Mount Zion a great people whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there were a young men of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns. Hey, and this is like, real talk, women in the world, what they be like, I, I, I want me a tall dude. You know what I'm saying? This is how you know you're going to be seeking the Lord regardless. 
the, the, he said he's taller than the rest, man. So, hey, the Lord is, if you want a tall man, seek ye how shot. <laughs> you know, spiritually speaking, man. You know, but it says he, he set crowns, man. You know, that, that, that's a sign of, uh, you know, a sign of brotherhood, a sign of charity. The Lord, hey, how many people are here passing out crowns, man? All right, and even if they got crowns, they got corruptible crowns, man. You know, the Lord had passed his crowns. Hey, this is everlasting, man. Go ahead. It says, in the midst of them, there were a young men, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest, and upon every one of their heads he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and said, Sir, what are these? And he answered and said unto me, These be they that have, that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of the Most High and are so now are they crowned and received clothes. You see that? So you take it off that. And this ain't literally clothing, man. All right, this is the ways of Babylon. This is the ways of the world. You took off that, you killed off that that, that old man, all right? And now you're putting on the clothing of immortality. You're putting on these scriptures, man. You're putting on your how about Shem Yahushua. You're putting on the way of righteousness, okay? So that's what we're looking for, uh, that immortal clothing, man. We're not trying to seek the, the things that can be corrupted by, uh, by it says, uh, lay up your treasures in heaven because the treasures on earth, they dust corrupt with, with moth and rust, man. All right. Go ahead. Yep. Uh, second Edges chapter two, in verse sixty-one, it says, "Then said I unto the angels, then said I unto the angel, what young men? What young men? Said, then said I unto the angel, what young person is it that crowned them and gave them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me." It is the Son of the Most High, whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to commend them that stood. That's right. Hey, so that's just like, hey, who is the tall dude? You know, he's like, hey, that's your was shot. You know, it's, that's why you also got to know the name. He said, then I began to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of Yahweh Shah. And that don't mean, uh, you know, you stand and rock like a board. That means through, through uh, our, our ways and understanding, means a man can't come. God is Jesus Christ, and we're going to fold. You know, there's no way you can make us believe that, man. All right? We know that through the Spirit that the name of the Lord is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay? And that, he said, I began to commend those. He didn't say, I began to get, commend those who are serving idol gods. He said that stood stiffly for that name, man. So you can't be going out having unity caps. Some guys think his name is Jesus. Other guys think his name is Yeshua. All right? And y'all just collabing. It don't work like that, man. You got to stand stiffly for that name, man. Therefore, my people shall know my name. Therefore, they shall know in that day that I am he who will speak. Behold, it is I. You know, so, you gotta know the name Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, man. That's right. Alright? You know, because without the name, without the name, then there is no, you can't have salvation. Without the name, Yahweh Shah.
son, thy, that thy son also may glorify thee. Yes, so, so the Lord, how shall I ask the Lord to glor glorify him that he may glorify him? Mm -hmm. Right, that's sort of the same way we doing, man. Mm -hmm. We glorify, we, we asking the how about you, my son, to glorify us so we can glorify him, man. Yeah. All right, well, to, well, to put his spirit on us so we can give him all praise. Yeah. Yeah. Verse 2 As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Yeah, so we're talking about eternal life. It's uh, all that, that the Most High gave you, have gave you Yahweh Shai, man. And right, we pray for your part at number because what's, if the Lord gave Yahweh Shai those men right, that, that, that he left, hey, nobody can stop us. Who, who can come against us, man? All right. Come. Verse 3. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true power. The only true power. And that's that's a cut. Some of those recent churches, they say the Lord Yahweh Shah and, and the Most High Yahweh is the same person. They say they say God and but and they say God and Jesus is the same person, which, which, is, which is a false man. It's too good to be too good to And Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O oh Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the, the world was. Yeah. So, so the, the Lord Yahweh Shai, right? He, he's asked the Lord to give that glory that he had from the beginning. And the Lord, he, he, he is being glorified. He's being glorified in the heavens. Now he's going to come back. point about uh, people believing that the Holy Trinity thing and thinking that the Father and the Son are one, man, that would make like the Heavenly Father like uh, schizophrenic, man, or bipolar. You know, he, he got two minds now. You know, what, what, what anybody that got, that means he got, the, the Heavenly Father will have demons on him, man. If you got more than one person in your body, man, that's that worldly shit, man. That don't even make sense. It's not sound. It's not, man. It's foolishness. Huh. Verse 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Come on, verse 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. That's so the Lord manifests his name unto, unto, the, unto the men that the, that the Most High gave him, man. All right, and the Lord has manifested his name right, to us, man. That's why you got brothers all over the earth, different uh, tongues, glorify the name of Yahweh Shemashah. All right, because scripture say this gospel shall be teach at the end of the world, at the end of the world, but the gospel shall be teach, teach throughout the world, then shall the end come. You know? Come. This is uh, Matthew 24, and verse 13, uh, 14. It says, and, the, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then the end shall come. Yeah, and we see the prophecies happen even more, man. Like right, the year 2020, year of prophecy. So we know Esau is going down, man. You can't tell us that Esau, Esau is not the so-called white man, right? Because the Lord said in the, in the last days, man, the wicked shall be ruled. He's going to take them out of power, man. All right, when the Lord gave us a name, all right, and destruction coming and salvation coming also. God. This is uh, John 17 verse 6 I have, manif I have manifested thy name Unto the men which thou Gavest me out of the world Thine they were And thou gavest me them And they have kept Thy word so you kept the word. Right? You keep the word And you teach brothers man You teach other brothers right? so, so Come back to Yahweh That you may be delivered Verse 7 Now they have known that all that you know whatsoever thou hast given me of our elite. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and and they have believed that thou didst send me. Yeah, so it's all about faith, man. All right, these people, these people, they don't believe, but when we have that, that, uh, that gift of faith, you're going to hear the word and you're going to believe it. And you're going to start living it. You're, going to, you're, not, you're, just not, you're not going to be a hearer of the word, but you're going to be a doer of the word. Come on. I got something for the name. I'm going to go first. Yes. Nope. That's a lot of <laughs> nope, it is on that. Uh, all right, this is Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse... 
Uh, I'll start at four. Four and five. It uh, says again, he said unto me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, unto these bones, behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. You know, the, the, the breath of Yahweh should be our shot, being put into us, you know, that, that causes us to live, man. Uh, this is uh, Psalms 124. I'm going to read uh, verses 1 and 2, and then I'm going to jump down to 8. It says, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Say, hey, man, if it didn't want for Yahweh Shah being on our side, the enemies would have, our, our, the heathen would have destroyed us, man. All right? Uh, jumping down to verse uh, 7 and 8. It says, our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. That snare is a trap, man. All right? Hey, that, that, it said that the, snare is, <laughs> the snare is broken, man. And we are escaped. And so, hey, does it not say in Isaiah the 30th chapter, um, uh, 30th chapter when it says, as flying birds uh, shall the most high defend Jerusalem, man? All right? So, hey, it says we are we as birds, man. You know, but the, this is the point, verse 8, because the brothers was talking about the name. It says, our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth, man. Right. All right, so that's where we get our help from, man, in the name of the Lord. That's how we're going to escape from the snare, man. That's how we're going to get away from the heathen. All right, that's how we're going to uh, rule this place, man. All right, through the name of the Lord, man. It's, you know, this, Psalms 44 chapter says, through thy name we shall uh, uh, make the nations to fall, man. Push down those strongholds, man. Okay. But you have some the name, the name is being preached uh, across the four corners of earth, man. Okay, you got brothers that were scattered across uh, all the other nations, man. They're waking up, man. That's right. Okay, and they're proclaiming the name of the Lord, man. And the elite of these other nations, man, they hear these things, man. Okay, they're they're they're, they're hearing the reports. They're seeing the video clips of their own people calling on the name of the Lord, man. And fear is falling on them, man. Okay, because they see the people of the Most High waking up. Okay, especially those of our people that were scattered amongst them, that were forgotten. Okay, but the Lord didn't forget about them, man. Okay, but they all, but the, uh, the the elites of the other nations, they always knew who those people were. That's why they kept them in 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 in, in rural places, places that 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 were uh, 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 the lands were bad. Just like how Esau do uh, the uh, 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 Gad Gad here in uh, in Babylon. Okay, they put them in the worst areas, man. Okay, you think Esau don't know who they are? Esau knows who the Native uh, Americans are. And likewise, the other nations, man. Those of our people who are in India, the untouchables, they know who the untouchables are. Okay? And you don't think those uh, untouchables, those of our people, you think they, they haven't received this message? They've received this message, man. Okay? And when they hear those, when they hear those men calling on the name of the Lord, fear is going to fall upon them. Scripture say that they're gonna be casting their their um, idols into the right. streets. Hey, <laughs> right. right. I, I just want to say real quick because the brother mentioned uh, your brothers don't know about the untouchables. So in uh, in uh, in India, you have in East India, you have what is called a caste system. Okay, so you have uh, basically like it's kind of like America, but it's more of a, a actual system over there. So the people they have different levels. You know, basically like the elites, the middle class, and the people, the, 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 the untouchables, the untouchables. Like you don't want to touch them people because they're the scum of the earth. All right, but I want to get a scripture to back that up. This is Zephaniah two and one. Gather yourselves together, yea, gather together, O nation not desired, man. Those those untouchables, man. We're the untouchables, man. All right, they they, they like oh don't be like them. You know, uh, the video. Somebody posted a video oh about some about these Edomite cops and the cops are saying hey we can't wait it's gonna be a civil war in America we can't wait to get it. I'm gonna buy a rifle and I'm gonna shoot all them fucking niggas. Better without them, you know. That's how they feel about us, man. Right, right. You know, and so we're the untouchables. But hey, through the spirit, we're gonna be really untouchable soon, man. Right. And, and guess who placed that caste system in, in India? Esau. Esau. Yep. 
Okay, he influenced them, man. He came to their lands and he influenced them to, to place that caste system amongst their people, man. They know that that's why the scriptures say, man, they made confederacy against us, man. They know who we are, man. All these other nations, they know who we are, man. Uh, he saw the feel the way he do about us. You know, we didn't even do nothing to him. You know, <laughs> even with uh, Cain and Abel, all Abel did was sacrifice, you know, a righteous sacrifice to the Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, then Cain, you know, Cain, Cain, Cain he, he wanted to slay his brother, man. We didn't do nothing to Esau for us. For him to say, you know, this world be better without us. Right. But we ain't do nothing to him. You know, he a wicked nigga. His, his first response to the Heavenly Father was, Am I my brother's keeper? Bro, right, slick, what? he got slick as fuck. <laughs> right, like what? Like what you mean, bro? Wicked, man. Go ahead, bro. It's <laughs> the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 3. It says, But behold, his soul, which is it, which is lifted up, is not all right. right now. That's talking about Esau, man. He got a wicked, he's a wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. He's a, he's a serpent, he talks, he's He's trying to uh, try to try to make war with you, man. I never trust our enemies, as the scriptures say, man. Okay. It says, "But the just shall live by his faith." I'm talking about the elect. Verse five, it says, "Yea, also because he transgresses by wine, in his philosophy, he is a proud man. Neither keepeth that home." All right, and that's why brothers was going into the uh, untouchables. All right, because Esau influenced all these countries, man. All right, he set up there. He take their resources. He set up his banks. Uh, he set up puppet leaders. Uh, I need all this there uh, to, to take their resource and to uh, demonize Jake, man. Uh, and then that, that was all a part of the deal. Because uh, uh, Amalek, he controlled pretty much all the resource, resources of the world. Okay, and the Most High gave Esau the power to control a lot of these uh, 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 markets. Okay, control a lot of these roads, man. So in order for, for the other nations to come up... Uh, come up, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 unto uh, some kind of like uh, power. They have to follow Esau, man. And that was all a part of the deal, man. It says, neither keep it at home who enlarges his desire as, as hell and is as death. Esau is as death. He cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations. Nations. And he, and he, it's like that. It says, oh. Oh. it says, and heap it unto him all people. And that's what Esau do, did, man. He even did that during the time of the, uh, the Greeks, Antiochus, man. All right? yep. he, he said we can no longer call ourselves Jews, but right? we have to call ourselves uh, Greeks. All right? That's why the New Testament, when Paul was going to those Greeks and the, and the, and the apostles, uh, well, Paul, Paul and, the, and the other disciples, all right, they was they was they said neither Jew nor Greek because those Greeks was Israelites that lost their heritage, man. That, that's, right. It's the same thing today. Where on the application, how we spoke about earlier, right? You can't call yourself, oh, I'm a I'm a Judaic, you know, from from Israel. You know, you can't do that. Right. They're gonna you got to check off black, black, black Caucasian, white, Caucasian, Latin, Hispanic descent, Proverbs. yeah, and other. <laughs> Every time other, and, and, and even uh, when you read the Maccabees, like the brother was going into, it says uh, men were no longer able to profess themselves as Jews, man. You know, so how many Jakes are like, hey, I'm just not gonna say it. I don't want to be put to death, man. You know, but I wanted to get this because the brother brought out uh, war in Esau's heart. This is Psalms 55 and 20. He hath put forth his hands against such as be at peace with them. He had broken his covenant. Right. So this, this is scriptural about the things that the, the so-called white man was doing, especially to the so-called Native Americans, man. All right? They made, they made over 100 treaties with the so-called Native Americans, which are really from the tribes of Gad and Reuben. All right? And what did they do, man? All right? They, they slaughtered him. It says he had broken his covenant. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn Drunk swords. Sword. That's when you go up and you talk to a so-called white man, and you're, you're thinking that everything is good, and he's giving you all these good words. He's just trying to find a way to get over on you, man. He's trying to find a way to stab you on your back and take, take you away from your household and put you in jail, trying to set you up, man. Okay? And just like you, you mentioned uh, Cain earlier, when the, most high, when, when the Most High asked Cain, like, yo, where's my brother? And he said, am I, am I my brother's keeper? This is, this is what the scripture says, man. This is Psalms uh, 58, verse 3. It says, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies, man. How do you look at your brother like that? You were born, you were born, you know, in the same household. You were raised together. We, we, were, we, we grew up as men together. And then for, when the Lord asks you that, you say, am I my brother's keeper? What you talking about? And that means he was estranged from the womb, man. <laughs> it was in his heart from he, 
him since he was a baby, man, to hate his brother, man. That's why he can't trust the so-called white man. That's why you can't trust Esau, man. I want to get these next two verses too, Bob Uh Psalms 55 and 22. It says, cast thy burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. But thou, O Yahweh, shall bring them down into the pit of destruction. Bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days, but I will trust in thee, man. So, see, we, we trust in the Heavenly Father, man, as the scriptures say, man. All right, the Bible says the Heavenly Father and his son are so-called black men. We're going to believe that. The Bible says that the Messiah is only coming to save the nation of Israel. We're going to believe that. Right. The Lord says the Edomite is going to be brought down to a pit of destruction and they're going to go into slavery. We're going to believe that, man. Right, because we trust in the Lord. But you'll go to these pastors. You'll go to these schools. You'll follow Facebook. And all these people telling you everything the opposite of what the Bible says, man. But we got the scriptures say, cast our burden upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee, man. Right, come on. Come on. This is because Acts chapter 5. Seventeen. I should say the heart is this seventeen and nine. Seventeen and nine. Yeah, man, we ought to be how about shot. This is Jeremiah chapter seventeen, verse nine. It says the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can know it? Yeah, who can know it, man? All right, that's what you following after the man. You follow well, following after the the, men, uh, the the knowledge of this world because the Lord set up men. I, to teach us the right word, man. Right? The apostles and elders great millstone. But if you follow these uh, other groups and stuff like that, and you going off, man, because your heart is deceitful over all things, man. They teaching different doctrines. They teaching that, that the market of beasts is not the RFI teaching, which is going totally off, man. They even they got like they doing like cash cash cashless. They they doing stores without cashiers, man. They making everything digital, man. All right? Yeah. I, I got some. Uh, oh, it's like Hey, I just want to say real quick, you know, you were talking about everything digital. You're going into all of these stores now. And what are these stores talking about? The stores are saying that uh, the, the U.S. Treasury no longer, you got to have exact change now. Because the U.S. Treasury don't have uh, coins anymore. Hey, they're, they're literally showing you the signs that this society is uh, decaying, man. Right. <laughs> all right. They're literally putting this, you got to wear a mask. Now, the other side said they ain't got coins no more. They're showing you the collapse of America. That's right. But you people aren't listening. And I, I went to the gas station, 7-Eleven, on Friday, and they had a picture that said, um, please pay with debit card or um, Samsung pay or Apple Pay. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know? They get ready. Yep. Mm -hmm. you got, they got RFID sensors out already. You go to a uh, car wash, they got the RFID sensors, but I don't know why you got something on. Huh? Zephaniah 1 and 11, how ye inhabitants of Mactesh. All the merchant people are cut down. Yep. All they that bear silver are cut off. Yeah, man, that, that, that's going to Wall Street. All right, those people that, that bear the silver and gold, I think they will be cut off. These scriptures told them the how, man. All right, they making they, they I think it was like a couple, maybe like a month or something ago. They was talking about making a digital dollar. All right, they're they gonna make everything come into that RFID chip, man. Yep. And the boss of art did a video on how gold is going up. Man. Yep. All right, but that gold not gonna save you in the day of the Lord's wrath. That's no, it was Zephaniah 1 and 18. Hey, can you read down verse 18? Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord Yahweh's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. Yep. So that's, that's those thermonuclear missiles, man. All right, in Ezekiel, Ezekiel 7, we get that. He said he's going to cast their silver in, in the streets, man. I had gold in their silver in the streets. Ezekiel 7 and... 7 and 7? Break loose these people, they're gonna be they gonna be feeble, man. They're like like how you so scared and your knees start shaking and stuff. That's how scared these people is. Man, the scripture say the mighty man shall cry their ability. Man. Yeah, the scripture says, uh, keep it in the, the 
keepers of the house shall tremble as well. Yeah. You know, the shortage of the uh, shortage of the money. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, what's the scripture say about a woman? Yeah. This place is known as a woman. They, uh, she she gonna make weak hands and feeble knees. Yeah. Okay, that's Babylon, man. That's that great whore, man. She gonna make she gonna give you weak hands and feeble knees, man. You know what I mean, they're, 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 she's not the Babylon is not meant for you to uh, to build you up and make you strong spiritually. Okay, this place is designed to weaken you, man. Weaken your hands, weaken your knees. I, I want to get this before you finish on that. Right. This is uh, Jeremiah thirty and six. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. You know, so hey, man, hit men in the hands on their loins. Hey, when martial law breaks through in these streets, all of you big badass men that think you will work out in the gym and that you got it all figured out, y'all gonna be out here crying like women, man. Y'all right. gonna be out here. Oh, I don't know what to do. Somebody help me. Y'all gonna be crying, man. Okay, and we hey, we gonna be laughing at that. The script said we gonna laugh at you, man. You know, because we told you, you you thought you had it all figured out. You you a steroid pumping, juicing. Doing all of this, man, ain't none of that gonna do nothing for you in a time of trouble, man. Uh, it's, it's very similar to the what people, what most men say when they go to prison. It don't matter what Christmas what you did out here, because in there it's totally different. You got to prove yourself again, because a lot of these guys out here they got their guns and they let their guns talk for them and they think they all tough and stuff until their weapons is taken away from them and they have to dwell amongst men. That's the same thing that's gonna happen in this time. You think you all hard and tough, okay? When there's no law out here. Then we're going to see how tough you really are. Yep, right? and it says their faces turn to paleness. Your face turns pale when you're afraid, man. Okay? You know, he said uh, the thing about men being tough with their guns. Man, I'm watching a video the other day. You got two Jakes out here scrapping. One of them runs to the car to get his strap. It was a one-on-one -on -one fight, bro. What you got to run in your car and get your strap for, man? That's how you know we're living in society of weak beta men, man. All right? Well, if you, when you go to war, go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, yo. Hey, if you lose, hey, you got to catch L's, man. Hey, you it happens. Lose, put that ice pack in your head. Yeah. Like, yeah, I took hey, the loss. Get up and fight another day, bro. Right. But now you're going to get the strap to prove what? Right. That you less of a man and to take a man's life, man? You weak. That's all you showed us, that you a weak man. You know? How much more in the time of trouble? Your gun's going to jam. You ain't going to be able to find it. Half of you don't know how to shoot it. They showed you that at the NFAC marks. All right? Oh, you got two of his people shot themselves in the leg, man. <laughs> Foolish, man. Yeah, he, saw, he saw his blessing as a sword. He saw got drones. Uh, he saw got a, a thing called a rail gun. Like, a rail gun is just shoot through anything, man. Right. All right? He saw got laser technology. Man, they're not ready for you, saw, man. You take so I can you think you are until you get killed by an eight-year-old Edomite girl. <laughs> right. I saw a video of a little girl out there with her dad hunting and shit. Do, do, do. Get out. Go, go in, bro. <laughs> You ain't got no chance out here, but you got it. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 7, verse, I read 17 again. All hands shall be weak, and all knees shall be weak as water. Right. They shall also gird themselves with sackcloth, and horror shall cover them, and shame shall be upon all faces, and baldness upon all their heads. Yeah, yeah. So they going to be in the by morning. All right, they ain't gonna have no answers. All right, these people they already they already uh, don't have like uh, these are food shortages. Hey, knock them out. Y'all take a, a couple steps so they can see the signs. All right, yeah. the water. Yeah. It's food shortage. I right, people are uh, out of jobs, man. The numbers of jobs is going up. All right, the brothers are not gonna be taking care of you too, too, too. people in this earth. Hey man, y'all gonna be robbing people. The scripture said they gonna be they gonna for the lack of bread they they gonna be going to people houses. Man. Hey, but, but it's about to get more serious because they're cutting off the unemployment, you know, so you're going to be seeing more of people breaking into houses, eviction. I got something. This is uh, 2 Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. Hey, man, you got a question? What's up, man? What's your question? What answer for you? Because he talked about uniform commercial code and uh, commercial capacity. Man, I watched this dude walk out of the county jail on attempted murder charges, bro. They let him go.
go. And everybody was like, trying to figure out what this guy was talking about, you know what I mean? But he always talked about declaring your nationality. And he was like, he was a Moorish American national aboriginal. Okay. And he talked about this stuff. I mean, so I played football. I don't know nothing about politics, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But I'm like, what is this dude talking about? And everybody else was like, what is this dude talking about? And I kind of, I don't know, I wanted to know, what, y'all heard about some stuff? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we, we've met a few Moors and uh, Moorish Americans. So they believe that they are the uh, true uh, people that were inhabiting America. So by nationality, they they don't have certain rights. Uh, they, they have more rights and liberties under the place here. But the thing about the Moors, the Moors were actually Israelites. And that word Moor goes back to being black. Okay, so what they don't understand is those Moors, those were men that stemmed from these men on this sign. The so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics. See, we aren't Moors and we aren't Americans, okay? And we aren't black, all right? If you look at just, is your skin the same color as your shirt? No, nah, you brown, you know what I'm saying? So those those Moorish Americans, that's a, a false ideology that they're uh, perpetrating through the earth. You know, that's not that's not really who they are. The, the scriptures say uh, you're going to find out who you are through your lineage just through, by looking at the scriptures. If you find out, uh, no, if you read Numbers 1 to 18, if you read... Uh, uh, Isaiah 44, it says we're going to uh, surname ourselves after the name of Israel. Right. And so, uh, actually, somebody give me 2nd Ezra 13 and 42. But you got some uh, I have some. Okay, yeah, get yours first. Because, we, you know, this is the thing. Those Moorish Americans, they can't prove who they are based on any type of stipulation. They can just say, I'm a Moorish American. I don't have to have a social security card. I don't have to have a birth certificate. Things like that. And that's why he said declare your nationality. But declaring your nationality is finding out who you are according to the Bible. Because everybody who's walking this planet, their nationality is in this Bible. Right. They just don't see it because they don't. They need the men of the Lord to break it down. And I got some. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. It says, it says, And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. Right, so this is the Heavenly Father talking to Jeremiah, but about the Israelites. It said we would discontinue from our heritage. So the thing, but thing is, now through the Spirit, we have it back. We understand who we are. So him calling himself a Moorish American, they're just trying to get free rights in America. But we want America to be destroyed because you we can't you can't have two kingdoms coexisting. That ain't the way the world works. Like America right now is the world hegemony, which means the world superpower. All right, just how America is the world superpower right now. There were times when uh, Rome was the world superpower. You know, you had Babylon, the world superpower. But the thing is, those superpowers have to be thrown down. Egypt was a world superpower. Those superpowers have to be thrown down in order to build a new. Go ahead, brother. It says, and thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee. Mm-hmm. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. Right. So the Lord says... He was going to be upset at us for the things that we did to him. He's going to make us forget who we are. That's why we call ourselves black. That's why we call ourselves African-American, Native American, Hispanic. All of those are proverbs and bywords. And if you read Deuteronomy 28 chapter, it lets you know who the children of God are by certain curses that are upon us. So just like the men in prison. It said that if you read Isaiah 42 and 22 on down, it says that we will be the people locked up in prison houses. And in America, there are 80 percent plus people that are locked up in prison houses are so-called blacks, Hispanics and Native Americans. OK, so according to prophecy, we know that we are not Moors. We are Israelites and Israelite in the Hebrew is Joshua Allah, which means princes of God or sons of God, princes of power. Just like you got king on your leg. We the only people call ourselves kings. You don't see so-called white people saying, I'm a king. You don't see (laughs) Chinese people saying, I'm a king. We the only people say that. Why? It's because we are the sons of the Heavenly Father. Our spirit bears witness with love. Bring it out. That's right. Romans 8, 6. I appreciate that, though, because I've been wondering if I should be, like, reading into that or trying to Nah, that's nonsense, man. That's nonsense. So don't try to educate. Nah, that's not. I mean, you can educate yourself. Yes, yes, brother. You can educate yourself on it. But the thing is, when you educate yourself, you got to understand to spit out the bones from the meat. You absorb the things like we like I said, we know about Moorish Americans, but we understand that that's the false. That's a false doctrine. And that's a false way of life, because when you read like I was going to have to read second Ezra 13 and 40, it tells you that the northern kingdom of the Israelites fled over here first. OK, and they, they were dwelling in this land before any man. So then people over, here, you know, we weren't the first people to visit here, but we were the first people living here. 
Okay, so them that that Aboriginal Moorish American we nah that, this land belong. Why do you think it's so much strife about the so-called Native Americans? It's because everybody knows it. it's their land. Everybody knows that. But uh, get that real quick. Matter of fact, right? Book of Second Nature, chapter thirteen, in verse forty, it says, "Those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king." Right. So this is the uh, Northern Kingdom, the so-called. Uh, Hispanics and the so-called Native Americans, all right, during the Assyrian captivity. Okay, go ahead, brother. All right, it says, whom Sal Salaman Salamanassar, Salamanassar, the king of Assyria led away captive, and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. Yep, so came they into another land. So they they fled, they went by ships and went into another land, and it's going to go into more specific specifics on that. Go ahead. Yeah, verse forty-one. But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen mm -hmm. and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. Right. They went into a further country where no man dwelt. So Native, they say the Native Americans and Hispanics were in America first. They even have it in movies where they say, how did you find America? You had Christopher uh, uh, Columbus or uh, Cristobal Colon. He said, I found out by reading Estrus. You know, so they know they they found out we were over here because we, why did we come over here? Keep reading. It says that they that they might keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. Right. So we could keep the law, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly Father, man. So that's what it really comes down to. Following after this Bible, this Bible ain't for everybody on earth. The Messiah is a so-called black man who's coming to save one third of the Israelites. He ain't coming to save everybody. These so-called white people are going into slavery according right. to the Bible. Right. Just like we serve slavery, it's their turn next. It's going to be a divine intervention is what's going to happen, man. And in, 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 in the scriptures, it, t it tells you uh, in what direction they came to get here. But And also, if you look at a detailed world map, and you look, because there's sometimes the detailed world maps, they'll show you the uh, the, uh, the, the direction of the currents. Yep. When you look at the currents coming down from the Horn of Africa, it will swing you down into uh, South America, yep. and it also uh, also uh, into North America as well. Yep. You know, because most sailors know that. Once you go out further enough and you catch the current, you can drop your sails. Yep. That means the water is going to naturally take you where you need to go. Yep. They came okay. out through the river Euphrates. Right. Uh, second edges 13. All right, man. Take care. You Israelite, repent, man. Them dreads you got? You got to cut them dreads if they dreads, man. All right. Yeah, cut them. Yeah. All right, man. Take care. No lineups. No lineups. No pork. All right, now. Go ahead, brother. Man. That is that identification. It says, second edges 13 and verse 42. It says that they might keep their statues, which they never kept in their own land. And they enter into Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river. So they left the Assyrian captivity and they went through the, through the river Euphrates. And they went through, through the waters of, under the, the Solomon talked about uh, the peacocks, which are really turkeys. Okay, you know, but that, that's in the scriptures. You got that out? Yeah, bring it up. Uh, first Kings chapter 10, starting at verse 21. And all of King Solomon's drinking vessels were of gold, and all the vessels of the house of the poor of Lebanon were of pure gold, and none were of silver, nothing was accounted of in the days of Solomon. For the king had a sea at a sea, a navy of Tarshish with the navy of Hiram. Once in three years came the navy of Tarsus, bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes and peacocks. So they, these are all of the things they were bringing back from the so-called New World, man. All right, you know all these different things, and that was dealing with the Spaniards, man. You know a lot of those things. But King Solomon, King Solomon was a wise man, which was Yahweh Shai, man. You know he was getting all those things, man. We were, we were just talking about the glory of Solomon, man, and all of the things that he had, man. It said he had peace in his land. Hey, Solomon in Hebrew is Shalomah. Which means pre peace, man. He had peace all of his days. All right, his glory was throughout the land, man. And when Queen Sheba visited, she said, "Hey, the, the hearing from our servants didn't even do it justice. How great a glory your kingdom is, man. And that, that's what really this, the kingdom of heaven is going to be like. Our words don't do it justice. What are the titles of your house? 
never kept in their own land and they enter in, into Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river for the Most High then showed signs for them and held still the floods till they were pass over and then uh, I think Issachar they knew the signs of the, of the heavens you know so, so the Lord was, was guiding them then alright uh, and you can read about that in Chronicles you know it'll talk about the Issacharites how they knew the, the signs of the heavens and the constellations. Yeah. That's what, hey man, you can't sleep. People be sleeping on Issachar, man. You can't sleep on Issachar, man. You got it? My man. Go ahead. First Chronicles <laughs> chapter 12, and verse 32. And of the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, yeah. to know what Israel ought to do. Car. The heads of them were 200, and all of their brethren were at their commandment. Hey man, if you was ever falling off, you ain't know which way to go. Hey, talk to Issachar, man. Issachar gonna tell you the stuff about the heavens. Is the car going to tell you, hey, hey, when the Sabbath is coming up, is the car got you? That's the spirit, too, because somebody on here said, they, they put it in all caps, Lunar Sabbath, and then a question mark. See, no, see that's, that's the spirit, you know, we, we can go into it, too. Let's go Let's go into the, uh, the Sabbath real quick. Uh, get, somebody get Genesis 1 and uh, 14. Go ahead, brother. This is the book of Genesis chapter 1 and verse 14. It says, I'll read it, I'll read it verbatim. It says, and, the, and God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven. Sorry. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be signs, be signs for the seasons and for days and years. Yeah, man. So the, so the Lord had the, had the time. Had the, had the, oh, I'll read again. Genesis 1 and 14, it says, in the, mo in the, in the power said, I am, let there be lights in heaven of the, the let there be lights in the firmament of heaven to divide the day from the night. Let them be for signs and, and for seasons and for days and years. So the signs of the heaven is for the days and the years. All right, so you look at so you look at the, the Sabbath, uh, the, new, the, 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 the new moon, right, the, the Sabbath again with the new moon, right? Yeah, man, and so that's uh, that's what you got to understand because he gave the sun and the moon as a testament. He says for seasons and for years. So when you look at the new moon, like it's a calendar. So, and, and that, that, you know that has to be the calendar because of you that calendar that we use now is called a Roman Gregorian calendar. Okay, so that, that wasn't established till later. That seven days was not the seven days of the Heavenly Father. Okay, and uh, when you have, like just now, uh, this week, I looked at the moon, what was that, last night or something like that, and it's almost a full moon. This is, the, this is about to be the Sabbath halfway through the month. Okay? Uh, somebody get Isaiah 66 and 23 and uh, Syrac, uh the 43rd chapter. Uh, yeah, go ahead and bring yours up. This is, this is a calendar in a Zodovan uh, dictionary. It says, calendar during the Bible period time was reckoned solely on astro astronomical observations. Days, months, and years were determined by the sun and moon. You see that? So uh, that, that, everything was determined by the sun and the moon, man. You know, going back to your calendar, it's an astronomical, the host of the heavens, man. Okay, that's how you look at, even in, even in times when referring to the sun. In ancient times, they didn't have a watch to know what time it was. They created something called a sundial. All right, so they would have a, a, a circle with a pivot on it. And depending on, that's how you get a watch in the different times. The sun would hit it at a certain point, and that's how you knew what time of day it was. It's a little bit more time. Uh, it says, the days of the week were not named by the Jews, but were de designated by original numbers. Uh, you know, because that's why uh, it's like day one, day, day two. One, day one, day two, right. And it, exactly. and it says, the, Ju the Jewish day began in the evening with the appearance of the first stars. How you say the number three in Hebrew? Talking with the, the reason why I asked, brothers, we were just talking about numbers, you know. Shalash, you get a, a Shabai, that's four, yeah, that's what you was thinking of, you know. So, these are these are all numbers. It was, uh, you know, so they would say, uh, a Khadiya one, that's day one, all right. That when you had the different times like that, 
Shamash is five. Shamash uh, Yawam. You know, so those are all times that we had set up, man, the fifth day. Okay? I got some. Isaiah 66 and verse 23. And it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, and from one Sabbath to another, all flesh shall all shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. That's right. So it's showing a synchronization between a new moon and the Sabbath. All right? You know, these, these scriptures, it's all in here, man. It's a scripture in Amos as well. Uh, that talks about, uh, I believe, the yeah. fifth chapter or something like that. You know, that talks about the Sabbath and the new moon. This is, in the end of the day, if you, if you follow the Friday and the Saturday thing, the Lord ain't going to judge you for it. But at the end of the day, hey, if you can be right, why not be right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's sound, it's sound according to the scripture. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. nowhere in the scripture it says, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's those, those words are not in the scriptures. Which are all idol gods. Uh, okay. those, the days of the week come after idol gods. Sunday is from sun worship. Okay? Thursday is from uh, Thor. Y'all know about Thor from Avengers? Thor's day. Okay? Saturday comes from Saturnalia. Christmas. Uh, you know what I'm saying? All of those are false pagan idol gods, man. All right? Those are not uh, the, the, the day that the Heavenly Father chose to name. All right? And the scripture says, seek the old path. So you should be wanting uh, to follow the, the paths of, of, of our forefathers. Mm -hmm. That's right. And this is why the scripture uh, says that we're a world without end. Okay, because we're in sync with the Most High, man. This, this is the operations that we have to go by, not by the operations that Esau says to go by. Okay, this that's his way, but his way is carnal. Our way is spiritual. Our way is everlasting. Okay, because our way is of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, of the Most High and His Son. Right. Yeah, that's rock. It's so rock forty-three of verse six. It says He made the moon. Also to serve in her season for a declaration of times and a sign of the world. So you got to move to know your signs, man. All right. That, that's why we go. That's why we use the, uh, the moon to, to know the world and time. All right. Verse uh, seven it says, "From the moon is the sign of feast, a light that decreases in her perfection." Mm -hmm. So the moon would be like, you should say on on the uh, this, uh, this moon. Declaration of time. Verse verse eight. It says the month is called after her name. So the so the, the word uh, moon comes from the, the word month comes from moon. All right. All right. And when you go, we we go. That word new actually means to be refreshed. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's why when right. you get a new moon, we refreshing for a new a new month. Okay. Right. A new Sabbath. Okay. And you keep that Sabbath for seven days following the, the, after the new moon. So you get a new moon. Uh, you follow that for seven days, and then. Uh, and then each week after that for a month's time, okay. And then after that, you get the you get the new uh, the new one for the new month following that. All right. And full month when you get a full moon, that's halfway through the month. Right. And uh, er everybody, oh, slack. Yeah. No, I'll say that's when the, it's the full. full moon. That's when the biggest. Yep. Uh, yeah. Finish yours again. I don't want to get this. It's rock forty three and eight. It says the month is called after her name, increasingly, increasing wonderfully, wonderfully in her changes. Being an instrument of the armies above, shining in the firmament of heaven. Yep. So, so it increases, it increases. It goes from a new moon and it increases. And then it, and it decreases again. That's right. It says an instrument, man. Something we can use to, to. You thought the Heavenly Father wasn't going to figure out a way we can keep time? Come on, man. He's the Ancient of Days, bro. He had to give us something where we can keep time. He knew what was going. It says declaring the end from the beginning, man. He knew what was going to happen to us. He knew we was going to be under these devils. He knew they was going to create that wicked calendar, man. So he had to give the Israelites a way we can serve. The Lord gave us everything we need to serve him the best we could, man. And he, and he gave us these things in the wilderness. Yep. Yep. Okay. We were in the wilderness. We were separated from everybody else. Did we? Good question. For all of you people that keep the Friday, the Saturday, the Sabbath, did we have a calendar in the wilderness? It said they kept the Sabbath in the wilderness. Did we have a calendar? Yes or no? No. Nope. See, the Lord is teaching us to survive on our own and to operate on our own, man. And all the all the camps that do teach, you know, the Friday, Saturday, Sabbath, you know, they all they they, they, all, they always they always you know a little leaven leaven the whole lump, you know. So they teach Friday, Saturday, Friday to Saturday Sabbath. You know, nine times out of ten, they gonna have something else that they are teaching us off. Yeah. You know, you know, it all it never fails. Yep. Yeah. And that's what that's when stuff like that is what'll cut you from a camp. You know, uh, Elder Yashimama put up a picture the other day. He said a brother said, "Man, from now on, I'm strictly listening to GMS." 
Because when you figure out stuff like that is off, what else is wrong then? Right. You know? But go ahead, brother. Uh, Psalms 81 and verse 3. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon of the Amen. time appointed on our solemn feast day. Read that again, brother. Psalms 81 and 3. Blow up the trumpet in the new moon in the time appointed on our solemn feast day. That's right. Hey, and the Sabbath is a solemn is a solemn day, man. It's a day to, to be kept unto the Lord. It's a day of rest. All right? And so it says blow the, blow the, blow the horn, man. You know, when we have uh, certain holy, high holy days and things like that, you will blow the shapar, the shawapar, as a testament to the Lord, man. Okay? You have more? Come on, go ahead, brother. Uh, Psalms 104 and 19. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knoweth his going down. Lord appointed the moon for seasons, man. All right? Who, uh, is that one in Amos? Did somebody grab that one? Uh, it's like Amos 5 and 11 and 5. 5 and 11? It's not 11 and 5. I'll get this one before. Go ahead, brother. Real quick. This book of Daniel chapter 7, verse 25. It says, And he shall speak great things against the Most High. It's on my Esau. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High and think to change times and laws. And they shall be given unto him. Given into his hand until a time and times and divided with time. So he saw his one change the times, man. That's why you got the fucking uh, daylight saving time and stuff like that. Right? He saw changing the times. And that, that daylight saving time is wicked too. They talk about how that has a, uh, it does things to your psyche, your mentality. You don't wake up the same. People get in more accidents. There's a higher amount of heart attacks. All of that stuff that happens from just them changing the times for one hour, man. All right, we under the, the under these devils, man. All right, leap years. Fuck out of here, man. All right, it's Amos. It's Amos eight and five. Say, when will the new moon be gone, that we may sell, and the Sabbath, that we may set forth wheat, making the making the ephah small, and the shekel great, and falsifying the balances. Right, so why would they say that if, the, if the, the new moon had nothing to do with the Sabbath? It's because they know on the Sabbath day you're not supposed to buy and you're not supposed to sell. That's why they said to the new moon, wait until the new moon be gone so that we may sell. Because when the Sabbath is over, you, you, you can't sell anymore. So there's, once again, uh, a synonymous between the new moon and the Sabbath, man. And those are, the, it, hey, real talk, we want to serve the Lord the best we can, so why not, man? You know, why, why not keep the Sabbath, man? Because now, if you find out the Sabbath is based on the new moon, and you still keep it Friday and Saturday, and you like, you know what? I'm gonna just keep doing what I want to do. In a way, you being wicked, man. Even That's though the Lord said, even though the Lord said He gonna have mercy on you, you still being wicked. You found out it's the lunar Sabbath day, but you gonna harden your heart and say, Nah, I'm gonna just keep doing Friday to Saturday. All right, you're destroying yourself, really, man. In the scripture, said rehearse the right to act. So. I know what that was. You adding it to the book. He said, if you add or take away from the book, you're going to receive the plagues that are written therein, man. That's going off, bro. That's going off. <laughs> That's going off, bro. Right. It's the book of Judges, chapter 5, and verse 11. It says, And they that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the place of drawing waters, what is the noise of the archers? All those missiles. In the place of drawing waters is here in the hand of America, where it represents captivity, man. It says, There they shall rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord from rehearsing like your brothers wanted to. You, you rehearse the righteous act. If you, if you know, if you know better, if you know better, you're gonna do better, man. Right, God. It says, even the righteous acts towards the inhabitants of his villages in Israel, then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. You know? so, so the point was to rehearse the righteous acts, man. Alright, we're not we're not gonna keep the laws hundred percent, but those that you can keep, you keep it to the best of your ability. Yep. And it says they, they go down to the gates. You know, the scripture is talking about going to the gates of the nobles. The spirit, you know. So and that's, that's the thing. Uh, you actually get that Psalms 37 and 37 you mentioned earlier. You know, because uh, you go into the gates of the nobles. And it said we, we stand, they hate us because we rebuke it in the gates, man. But you, the thing is, we tell them the words of the Heavenly Father. You got to believe this thing, man. If this is something in your spirit, you know. And a lot of those things that you hear, like a Friday, Saturday, Saturday. So that's why it comes up as a topic. Because it's conflicting, all right? But when you finally hear, like, dang, everything that they just 
said makes sense, man. So go ahead, read yours. Uh, this is the book of Psalm, Psalm chapter 37, verse 37. It says, Mark the perfect man, and behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. See that? Hey, man, mark the perfect man. So uh, we're doing this thing, and we're, we're breaking down everything for you. He, he waxing worse and worse, man. He had, on, he had, on, he had on jeggings last week. <laughs> now he got on a towel. <laughs> probably do, man. Who knows? But, you know, it says mark the perfect man, man. So, you know, Lord willing, we know it's meant, but we're showing you the way to follow you. How about Shemel Shah? Hey, walk in that path, man. Don't just continue being a nigga and saying, I'm going to do what I want, man. I'm going to keep Friday and Saturday because it's beneficial for my work schedule. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, fuck that work schedule, man. You know, you know how many jobs I denied when I was first coming into the truth and I oh. thought Friday and Saturday, man? How many jobs I denied? I, mean, I probably could have had one of the best jobs in my life but I thought it was Friday to Saturday. I was like, they was like, yeah, you got to work on Saturdays. So I was like, ah, I can't do it. And they're like, why? Personal beliefs. Well, you're not the man for the job, sir. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I still was happy because I still, that was a testament that I was still willing to serve in how about Shemia Rashad, even though the Sabbath went for Friday. So they know that we in Babylon. You know what I'm saying? If you got to work on the Sabbath, man, it's sad to say, hey, we in hell. You a slave. You got to do what you got to do, man. You know? Because if not, the Lord gonna destroy you. The Lord, hey, when you read Deuteronomy twenty-eight chapter, He says, "Just as I rejoiced over to give you the blessings, I will rejoice over you to destroy you, man." All right, so the Lord will rejoice in your destruction, man. Okay. Uh, that was it on that. You had some. Yeah, it's it's book of Proverbs chapter three, verse five: Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lean not unto thy own understanding. All right, so you're supposed to trust in the words of Yahweh Shabbat and not lean unto your own understanding. It says. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. All right, so you acknowledge the true name, and the Lord gonna show you the way, man. It says, "Be not wise in thy own eyes; fear the Most High, fear the Lord, and depart from evil." All right, so you gotta hearken unto the word, man. Uh, bar, uh, Jeremiah six verse sixteen, and it says, "Thus saith the Lord: Stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths." Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, we will not walk therein. Yep, and that's Jake for you, man. We, we give you the path. We telling you this, what you got to do for salvation. It's literally like a step-by-step -step thing, man. You know, you come in. All right, I can't get lineups. All right, I can't eat pork. All right, you know, I got to keep the Sabbath. All right, yeah, you can't mess with men's wives. I can't serve out of God. The Lord give you this step thing. You know, ain't no brother come in day one and get everything right, man. Ain't nobody do that, man. But at the end of the day, you got to be, you got to increase in getting better, man. Day by day. You know, once again, in 1 Corinthians 15, chapter, it says, I die daily, man. All right? If you, we die daily. Hey. So each day, we killing off more of the wicked, that wicked side of us, man. I was, I, I, I like cartoons. I be watching Rick and Morty and shit, right? And Rick and Morty had this one episode where he splits, uh, they split their toxic side from their uh, their clean side, so to speak, all right? And the toxic side wanted to be back and rule so bad. But what he had to do, he had to, he, you got to end up trying to kill off that man. He ended up taking him back in on some wicked shit. 
you know, Rick might be a Jake too, by the way. You know, he act like he don't believe in the Heavenly Father and all that, but his name's Sanchez. He's supposed to be so-called Mexican. He might be a Jake. Morty and Eden might, but Rick might be a Jake. It's just a non-believer. But like the brother read, we will not walk therein. You know, so a lot of times these people don't want to walk in the way. The two-thirds are not going to walk in the way of the Lord, man. All right? Uh, but uh, any brothers got any finals, we can wrap up. Just in the back of your Acts chapter 15, starting at verse 20. But that we write unto them that's, that's like it. Starting at verse 19. Acts 15 and 19. Wherefore my sentence is that we trouble not them which from among the Gentiles are turned to the Most High. Like That's you right. said, the Lord, give you step by step. That's verse right. 20. But that we write unto them that they abstain from pollutions of idols and from fornication and from things strangled and from blood. That's right. So little stepping blocks. Little stepping blocks. And they say, they say, you know, abstaining from those idols, man. Those little steps to get you to abstain, man. You know, uh, that's when you go into like abstinence, all right? You know, when somebody's trying not to have sex, you know, you might not automatically be like, I'm not having sex no more. You try to wean yourself off. You know what I'm saying? The Lord weans us off of Babylon. He weans us off of wickedness. Because when you put too much on a man, he's ain't not going to put more on us than he can bear. All right? Even though he said his commandment's not grievous, when you learn this thing, if it was mandated that day one, you had to give up everything in the world, you know what I mean? Men would never come to the light. All right? So the Lord got to give you those baby steps. But at some point, you got to gird up your loins like a man. You got to stop with this kitty shit, man. You got to stop being like, hey, yo, you know, I'm going to still get a lineup. You know, hey, I'm, I'm going I'm to eat this pork. Yeah, man, you got to get past that, man. Because the Lord will easily judge you, man. Let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 1. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto cardinal, even as unto babes in Hamashiach. Because you, when brothers come in, they're like, they're like babies, man. All right? They're like babies. You can't give a baby, baby uh too much uh say give them milk so they might grow there by the thing. Oh, it's a lot. Verse 2 says, I have fed you with milk and and not with meat, for hitherto too ye were not able to bear it, neither are neither yet now are ye angry. Alright, so you gotta start with the milk. I, that's what you said, uh Isaiah twenty eight, I think. Isaiah twenty eight ten, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. You gotta you gotta come you gotta come. With a, with a man that says true, you gotta feed him a little bit by a little bit. Right. Because you don't want to overthrow his faith. Right, right. I'm gonna get that for you, bro. Okay. Oh, okay. so This is uh Isaiah 28 and 9. It says, Whom shall he teach knowledge, and whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. Woo. From the milk and drawn from the breast. Basically, you gotta be uh getting the basics, man. Mm -hmm. Alright, you gotta come, you gotta come with the basics. That's why. That's why we don't uh, go brothers when they ask a question. All right, we go the basics. We don't really go into reincarnation because that that probably they probably say, "Oh, you crazy! You gotta easily give it out of what's it? You gotta read the spirit, you know? Right? You you you, you, you get a little baby and you trying to throw him a piece of steak. He gonna I, I, I ain't trying to chew it. This ain't gonna do nothing, man. He's going to be teething. He's going to starve. That's right, bro. It's going to be too much for him. He's not going to be able to bite it. He's not going to be able to take it in. You know, and that's that's how the Lord is with this truth, man. You got to give him milk, man. He, uh, baby is on his mom's teeth, man. All right? All right. Okay. And, then, and then when he comes strong, he can hold the bottle for himself. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it, man. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is Sirach chapter 5, verse 2. Follow not thy own mind and thy strength to walk in the ways of thy heart. No, so we can't, you know, like the scripture says, uh, we just brought it out. Uh, I think it's Proverbs 16 and 4. Uh, what is it? Trust in the Lord. Uh, yeah, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lead not on thy own understanding. You know, we can't we can't follow after our own mind because like the scripture says, our, our heart is desperately wicked. You know, in our mind, we would think, you know, weed is from the earth, you know, it's good for you so you can smoke it. You know, but the, the, you got to follow out the scriptures. The scriptures tell you specific ways, you know, to handle things. This book of Hebrews chapter 5 and verse 12. It says, for when, for when, for when, for the time ye ought to be teachers, ye have need that one teach you. Again, which is the first principle of the oracles of the Most High. All right, so you ought to be taught, man. It says, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. Mm. For everyone that useth milk is unskillful in the word of, of righteousness, for he is as a babe. All 
All right, so we got to start with, with the milk. All right, then you then you get built up, man, because all of us came on the other side. And then eventually, the Lord brought us brought us in. You know, we had to be we had to be like we had to learn from our tutors, all right, from, from, the, from the apostles and elders, man. Verse fourteen, but strong meat belong with to them that are full age, the apostles and elders, even those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. All right, so they so they've been in the truth, laboring, so they understand situation, man. All right, the, the scriptures uh, come to life even more. I remember being. I, I, I tell this story often. I remember being in the world, sitting in the Christian church, in the back with uh, uh, Christmas Eve and shit. Who the, uh, the scriptures trying to read Revelations? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The beast. Now, yeah, man, the beast. Like, what is it? I'm thinking of he got his big old head and you know all of these dragons and horns. You know that's too much, man. So that's when you read Acts eight thirty and says, "How would I learn except a, a man guide me, man?" You know. So hey, you got to be guided in this thing. You got to, you know, we got to look at the men that are before us to be able to guide us and give us the things of understanding, man, so that we can come back to you. How about you, shot? I had a little bit more on that. Uh, Sirach five and three. It says and say not who shall control me for my works, for the Lord will surely uh, revenge them by proud, by pride. You know, because a lot of people. Well, next verse goes into it. Say verse four. Say not I have sinned, and what harm have happened unto me? For the Lord is long suffering; he will he will in no wise let thee go. Concerning propitiation, 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 be not without fear to add sin unto sin. You know so. Especially in this truth, you know, because um, it says in Hebrews, there's no uh, there's no forgiveness for you willfully sinning after you learn the knowledge of the truth. You know, so you can't just be without fear of the Lord and add, add in sin unto sin, you know, saying, well, uh, what's going to happen to me? And that's a prideful heart. And, uh, and the Lord, he's going to destroy those those with that prideful spirit. Yeah. That's right. That, that's the same one that says, make those here yeah, yeah. Okay. Five and seven. You know, but that word uh, when you add sin to sin, that's when you go into transgression. Okay, which is uh in uh in uh in Hebrew. All right, but that's transgression when you just add in sin upon sin, man. It says that in, I believe Isaiah thirty or thirty one too. They add sin to sin, man. Yep. Go ahead. All right. All right. Uh, verse six, and this, and this is how the Christians think. Verse six it says, and say not, his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitude of my sins. For mercy and wrath come from him, and his indignation rested rested upon sinners. So the Lord, so you're not gonna get away, man. You thinking the Lord? You thinking you gonna do wickedness, and the Lord not gonna judge you for that? Man, you, you out of your mind. Right? God. Verse seven: Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, That's right. and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. And perish in the day of vengeance. Yeah, so that's why, so I would apostle the elders. They tell us to be diligent. Don't make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, man. Don't be putting off from day to day, man. And you know, you got to do the work, and you do the work, man. You got to link up with brothers, you link up with brothers, man. Because the time that's coming, hey, the day the Lord said, said, seek them before the evil days come, man. All right, this time will be happy, man. You want to store up your treasures in heaven as much as you can. Right? Yeah. Right. We can wrap it up on this one. It's Galatians 5 and 17. For the flesh lusted against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. I right, bring this out because you know the brothers talk about you know killing that old man. You know you got to kill that old man daily. You know every day is going to be a fight with within his flesh. You know some days you might have demons on you that's you know that that wants you to go back. You know smoke a weed. You might have demons on you to be like man that that woman looks good even though say she has a wife. You no, know, but you got to overcome. You got to overcome that flesh. And it says and these are contrary one to the other so that ye cannot do the things that ye would alright because the spirit is is, uh, is totally opposite the, the spirit is totally opposite from the flesh alright your spirit wants to keep good your spirit wants to serve you how about shot your spirit wants to um, keep the law of and commandments but it's your flesh that, that makes you um, that, that entices you to go off alright it says verse 18 but if ye be led of the spirit ye are not under the law right because if we walk in it if we walking in the spirit, you know, we 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 not go. If we walking in the spirit, we not subject to uh, we not subject to the. I mean, it says ye are not under the law because we walking we walking in the spirit. We walking in the law of statutes and commandments. You know, we meditating on the Lord. We meditating on the law of statutes and commandments. And you know, and that's the spirit that you know that we have to. You know, we have to pray for that. You know, we have to pray. You know, for the Lord to kill that old man. You have to pray. You know that that, that the Lord. Um, you know that. Day by day, you know, you got to take one day at a time. And it's right. That's why the Lord died for our sins, you know, because He knew that we were not going to be able to keep the laws that He was perfect. Man. You know, because He knew that we were going to fight, you know, me until He returned. But you know, that's why He blessed us with the Comforter, man. I got one for you. And see, 
That's why it says uh, ye are not under the law because really we're under the grace and mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. That's what it really comes down to because even the Apostle Rapal was saying one day, he was like, man, let's keep it real. We're not under the law. You know, we, we, we follow to the best of our ability, but right now, if, we all, if the Lord kept us completely following the law, we'll be destroyed, man. So real real talk, we, right now we are under the spirit and the mercy of the Lord, but we do our best to keep the law. Your faith without works is dead. No prejudice. Just like, you know, if you if you walking in the spirit, you know, you're not going to be, you know, if you're walking in the spirit, you know, when wicked mind, when wicked things come to your mind, you're going to be like, you know what I'm saying? You're going to rebuke that because you're walking in the spirit. But if the wicked will turn from all his sins that he has committed and keep all my statutes and do that which is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. You know, and you know that that's what Esau don't want us to do. Esau don't want us to live. Esau wants us to die. And, and, you know, and that's why, you know, it's wickedness everywhere you look. You look to the left, you know, it's, it's a homosexual. You look to the right, you know, somebody eating uh, fucking pork, pork chop. You know, it, it's everywhere you go in this society, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's sin. You know what I'm saying? But that's why it's important to walk in the spirit. You know? so, so, yeah, we didn't get to, uh, I forgot to say this. We had to thank you for this beautiful brother. See, he's a car here coming up from Miami, so call like y'all about Shemel. You know, we come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of Babylon, America. All right, according to the scriptures, the so-called blacks, Native Americans, and Hispanics are the Israelites according to the Bible. The so-called whites are um, the Edomites according to the Bible and are going into slavery. We want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect. And until next time, Lord willing, Shalom. 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 Shalom.